Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Randomized Perfection, the Stardew Valley story. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Good to see familiar faces, new and old. Hello, hello. I hope everyone had a lovely uh, weekend. Happy 4th of July to, to, the, to my American friends out there. I, uh, I mean, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people are taking the day off today or have the day off for, for myriad reasons, but I'm just streaming, man. I'm just streaming. I had my, we had Canada Day over the weekend. That was exciting. I went for a hike over the weekend. That was pretty cool. I went to, a friend invited me to go bowling, which I haven't been bowling in like 10 years, unless you count, you know, switch sports bowling and wee bowling and all that stuff. But, <laughs> so that was, that was a good time. It was, you know, a strangely eventful weekend, honestly. A strangely very eventful weekend. Anyone else get up to anything exciting over the weekend, or... I feel free to regale me with whatever stories you might have. Any once-in-a-lifetime activities? Life-changing endeavors? Or, you know, did you just, like, chill out and play... Pong or something? I don't know. Steph, I wish you the best of luck. I think I saw your post in the, uh... <laughs> in the discord about getting the gold clock as well for your task um i our camaraderie will hopefully care help carry you through my heart goes out to you best of luck all the solidarity you played roller coaster tycoon pretty good weekend i can respect that which one though which one did you play was it like the original or was it two or was it three that had like the one where you could like actually ride your rides that's the one I always remember because I saw it at like the Scholastic Book Fair when I was in maybe grade four or so. And I was like, I want that game so bad. I want to be able to ride my own roller coasters in Roller Coaster Tycoon. Never, never did get the game, I don't think, but. Glad to finally be able to catch a stream. Welcome on in, Constick. Constick. And you're here to pet Pi, yo. A Pi appreciates it. Such a happy kitty. Meow. Hike sounds nice. It was pretty nice, but it did start raining, like, partway through. And it was, uh, not that pleasant at that point, because, like, the rain was, like, cold and gross. But, for the most part, it was, uh, it was pretty good. Crazy dude, good to see you again. Welcome on back. Painting your house, which is pretty once in a lifetime. What color, what color, Dragonic Moon? What sort of theme are you going for? Are you going pastels, or are you going something else? Nice hot pink walls, probably not, but, you know, to each their own. Made a bunch of different types of fudge, Catherine. Ooh. Fudge with nuts or without nuts, though? There's there's a correct answer to this. Koji, good to see you. Have to go do family stuff. But well, thank you for dropping in, though. It's good to see you, as always, Koji. Take care. I hope you enjoy the the fam. They're also playing Roller Toaster, roller coaster Tycoon. It's an evergreen game. Evergreen Terrace and an evergreen game. At any rate, we do have a little bit of a, a little bit of fan art to go over today. We got one written piece by Mia posted in the Discord. It's very long. It's, it's it's good, but it's very long. So I don't think I'm gonna read the whole thing. But I'll at least give you like one of those uh, previews that they give on Audible. You know, or they just you, you read the first little section and you're like maybe enticed to go check out the rest for yourself. It's like ooh, so we, we'll do one of those. Um, but we also have. This lovely little rendition from Kamini, Kamini, on uh, on YouTube here, which makes me laugh every single time I look at it. <laughs> it's so good, oh my gosh. And the music, Pickle Jar Rag, picking up at the perfect time. <laughs> it's so good, this is, it's, I mean, I can't even, no, ma no words that I use to describe this can make it any better, right? This is the perfect encapsulation of the ultimate Iron Man challenge in all its glory. That inventory full message, dude. Holy moly. Very well done, Kamini. Thank you so much for this. I greatly appreciate it. It's, uh, <laughs> like I said, no words. A picture is worth a thousand words, and this used all thousand extremely well. And now I'm going to go ahead and pop over to the Discord for a second. Exclamation point Discord if you want to check it out yourself, or there's a link to the Discord in the description below the stream. 
because there is a written piece by Mia in the uh, fan art channel. It's called. This is based on the Grinch who stole Christmas. I know Christmas in July, very timely, but you know Christmas in July is a thing. I think. Um. And it's based. Yeah, it's based on the Grinch who stole Christmas. This is the Chloe who gifted a ton. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice sub subversion of the trope. I like it. And uh, I'll read the first like paragraph here, but it's it's quite long, quite long, and quite good. But I'm I'm not. <laughs> I don't feel like I got the time here to read it all. All right. If we if we want to get into things in a timely manner, I'm 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 already past due. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> this is the Chloe who gifted a ton. Written by Mia, performed by yours truly, to the dulcet tones of, of Hollow Knight, I guess. Every villager out in Pelican Town liked the Winter Star Feast a lot, but Chloe, who lived just west on Holiday Farm, did not. Chloe loved gifting, the whole gifting season. Now please don't ask why, no one quite knows the reason. It could be her hat was just a bit too tight. It could be, perhaps, that her skirt felt just right. But I think the most likely reason of all may have been that her heart was two sizes too large. But whatever the reason, her hat or her skirt, she stood there at the start of the year, loving the villagers, staring out from her farmhouse with a happy Chloe grin at the warm lighted windows of their town. For she knew every villager in Pelican Town outside was busy now, scurrying around. And they're completing their tasks, she delighted with cheer, but the winter feast is not soon yet here. Then she schemed with her fingers ploddingly drumming, I must find a way to keep gifting coming. For tomorrow, she knew, all the village boys and girls would wake bright and early, they'd rush for their chores, and then there would be no new joy. Oh, the joy, 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 joy! And that one thing she wished for was wonderful of a loved gift gifted. Wait, that one thing she wished that the wonderful joy of a loved gift gifted. The joy, 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 joy! Then the villagers, young and old, would not sit down to feast. They would not to feast, 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 feast. They would not gather as families, nor would they hear Willie's stories, which was something Chloe couldn't stand in the least. And then they wouldn't do something Chloe loved most of all. Every villager in Pelican Town, the old and the small, would not stand close together and pass out their gifts. They'd not stand hand in hand and give thanks to them all. They'd not gift, and they'd not gift, gift, gift. And the more Chloe thought of the Winter Star gifting, the more Chloe thought, I must put this thing on. Why, for 224 days it'll go on. I must make this gifting simply go on. But how? And that is the introduction to the Chloe who gifted a ton. Based on the Giftathon, I believe, because that was 224 days. Is that how long that thing took? Holy moly. Dude, I got into my inner Dr. Seuss there. That, that felt good. Thank you to Mia for that. Can get some snaps in chat? Snaps in chat for Mia? Snaps and claps and all that good stuff and all that jazz. While I load into Stardew Valley proper. You just joined and I thought I made an AI voice of myself reading the stories. <laughs> no, maybe that's the next evolution of uh, streaming technology is just make an AI voice to stream for you. I mean, it's it's bound to be happening out there already, I think. I don't think I changed the volume on my music, but it sounds louder than normal. I don't know. Maybe it's just maybe I'm just not used to it yet. Maybe I just have to turn down my own actual that part of the audio. I might turn it down like a smidge and let me know if it's too loud, but either way, I'm going to digress. Let me bring you... Ooh, back to the familiar site of Fractured Farm. And Museum Grack Reads, thank you for the 99 cent super sticker looking like a diamond in the rough. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Just got back from a long day at uni. This is exactly what you need to unwind. I'm happy to provide Addy. 80. Welcome on in. All right. Christmas and summer is cursed. Christmas in July is like a definite thing that people do celebrate. I, I, I don't think I've ever been privy to a celebration like that myself, but it is a thing that I've heard of before. Maybe it's, maybe I've just been me getting memed on, but I'm pretty sure it's an actual thing. Hey there, purple. Swinter from Phineas and Ferb. That one I know. That one's, I mean, Swinter. Celebrate Festivus, maybe? Alright. Um, let me grab all these jades. 
So last time we've been we've been striving and struggling to figure out exactly how we're gonna make the money for the gold clock. Um, <laughs> and I do remember last time we finished up the we finished setting up our new little Junimo hut area down here. Well, we didn't quite finish setting it up. All right, Iota, I appreciate your efforts, but turns out the debris is a little too strong to get you all the way down here. We almost finished up because there is one sprinkler missing for this spot right over here. That's okay. Gold clocky for gore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's an easy one to just put out of your mind, but this is our new setup. It's a nice, very efficient little sprinkler setup. We need one more Iridium Sprinkler to make it fully autonomous. Or automated, I guess. Not autonomous, but... <laughs> Same difference, right? So what's the next order of business while we wait for that Sprinkler, though? Is to... If I can... Hold on. Wait a minute. I just gotta... There's just a few rocks in the way is the thing. Uh, we just gotta go a little down this way. I'm gonna get that... Get this seed as well out of here. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and swap out my... Dragon Tooth Shiv for a scythe, I think. I think that's probably a little more fitting right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't think I need the Shiv anytime soon. Nice to have inventory spaces again. You don't know how much you miss it until they're gone. It's the it's the sad, solemn truth. All right. So we need to figure out what we're doing down here. And I did play around with some ideas, and I think I've landed on something that I want to do. Because, like, this is... We, we don't need to use this field for actual crops anymore. So we can kind of repurpose it for for animal husbandry. And, uh... But exactly how we're going to do go about that is still a little up in the air. I think I'm going to go ahead and start by getting rid of all the existing tree columns and we're just going to start from start from the ground up here i think so yeet these tree columns for right now i probably should have emptied my inventory a little bit actually i can still empty empty my inventory because isn't there like an auto grabber just like hanging out here yeah just dump these in here perfect all right till they are gone We want to leave those chairs, at least the crystal chair, because I don't think I can get that back from the furniture catalog. The dark chair, maybe, yes. Rip the fertile fence. Can we get some 07s for our amazing tree column fence? It might be coming back. I don't know if we're going to reuse tree columns for our new, for the new setup that I have in mind here. But we're we're going to use furniture. Mark, mark my words on that. <laughs> but the tree columns, they serve their purpose. They are merely a stepping stone on our journey here. Much like how, during The Price of Perfection, Chloe became a coffee farmer for a brief stint of time to to achieve her goals, we too became a tree column farmer in order to in order to make magic happen. But the magic has happened, and the magic has evolved into a new Junimo farm era. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. I'm just trying to fill the void while <laughs> I'm getting rid of tree columns here. All right, these are both furniture catalogs, so I can just go ahead and get rid of those. Um, these, I think this one's dark furniture catalog. The, crystal, the crystal chair is not. That one's a unique one, and I, I would not want to get rid of it. So let's just go ahead and leave them right here for right now. Now I think our best order of business is to move the buildings. I think we should move both the coops and the barn, and maybe build a second barn. I think building a second barn is probably in our best interest. Hey there, Laney. Good to see you. Lots of oh my gosh, lots of lots of familiar faces rolling on in. Good to see everybody. Hello, Nico. Hello, Laney. Hello, Pata. J Sky. Just imagine the ducks sitting in the chairs. Dubnium would love that, I'm sure. All right. So yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and move. Go go to Robin's. Get a new barn built and move the existing buildings around in order to make them a little bit more ergonomic. Because as it stands, trying trying to sort of route all the animals from their their existing locations into like a a nice open field is not reasonable, I don't think. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and take some wood and some stone. Not necessarily in that order. 
and head on up to Robin's. She's in on Saturdays, right? It's not what, like, she's not in on Tuesdays. I feel like she's in basically every other day, though. Where are the buildings going? I'm so glad you asked, because I have no idea. <laughs> I have no earthly idea exactly where I want these buildings to go just yet, but we're going to figure that out together, I think. Everything works when we work together. I have I have kind of a vague idea. Maybe it's not an entire an entire truth to say that it's not uh not pre-planned at all. All right, move buildings. First and foremost, I love this well, but it's got to go. It's got to go somewhere else for right now. We could put it near here, not that we're going to use it ever. Plus we also have the blue discus fish pond as as a as an impromptu well right there. Um I'm going to just plop this down somewhere for right now. Maybe we figure this one out later. Put a, put a pin in this one. Put a pin in that well right now. Don't worry about it. Now, the barn is the biggest building. The barn is the biggest building. And I think, I think there might be a way... You know, honestly, these coops might be okay where they are. And then we put a little barn. Put a barn right there. Or maybe a barn up here. Or why not both? What if we do a barn here and our second barn down here, and then we, like, fence off this area roughly in here? Because most- there's not a whole lot of debris in this area. I'm willing to- to eat the mining XP on these stones, just to get- get them out of here, and then we'll have- a, we'll have a nice, clean, like, quarter of our farm. Not quite a, not quite a quarter, but, like, a sizable chunk of the farm for all these animals to, to graze to their heart's content, and hopefully we'll be able to stay on top of the debris there. How do we feel about that? Is this is this a yay or nay idea? Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you think this plan is reasonable. Also, I should probably move these silos into a better location. Probably, I do, probably don't want to put them in the same field as this. 07 to Silo Island. You have no clue. Yay. Rip Silo Island. <laughs> we could, I mean, we could leave Silo Island, but I feel like having the silos... I feel like this is... This is the phase where I need to start industrializing my farm a bit more. Maybe not, you know, specifically industrializing, but at least start organizing it as best as I can. Can I fit three silos right here? I think I can if that sea urchin wasn't there, which is unfortunate because I can't really get rid of that right now. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a third silo, and having them all right up here where I can check them nice and easily is probably a good idea. So let's just go ahead and start. Start. I'm just trying to map it out in my head. We're going to start with that. Start with this. Not in the spots where the crates spawn. I'm not super concerned about the crates. There's still a lot of room for crates to spawn, and we're not that reliant on them, so I'm not... Uh... Not that upset about this, but that is a good rationale too. If you're start, if you're early on and you, pro and you still want stuff from crates, then that's a good thing to keep in mind. But at our current state, I don't think we need to worry about that. I think everything else is pretty much okay the way it is. We'll get rid of these stones. We'll get rid of this fiber. We'll get rid of. We'll move the stone cairns and we'll we'll set up a nice little fence along the perimeter here. The nice thing about this is that we can use just like some furniture to build a fence along here and we don't have to worry about this portion down here because the ocean makes its own fence. I've always said that and what is an ocean if not a fence for the earth? Use silos as the fence too. I don't think we really need to though because the silos they would also they, number one they would block a lot of stuff like visually speaking and number two they uh, were we have access to unlimited furniture right now so I think we're okay. Don't I need to be able to only check one to learn about all three? The totals group into one big number. It's true, but I kind of like having all the silos just, like, together. <laughs> just visually, aesthetically speaking. So we're going to go ahead and go with that, I think. Um, we're also going to build a barn. This is painting. Maybe, you know, we can maybe look into that. Oh, I should also pin that goal. Thank you, Laney, for exclamation point goaling when I forgot to. Not that there isn't, you know, a big watermark basically at the golden clock in the top left just to remind us of our eventual goal at all times but 
Can never have too many reminders. All right, build a new barn here. And I think you are going to fit in just nicely right about here. Here or here. Not that it doesn't really matter, but, <laughs> but does it matter, though? We're going to put it right there. It's fine. All right. I want to... Wait, I wanted to paint my buildings, but now I, I can't because she's busy with other things. Oh, well, <laughs> rip. Okay. I'll keep that in mind for the future. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. All right. I feel I feel happy about this. Now we just have to actually go back um, and fence off the area proper. And then I think we'll be able to let our animals out for the first time in forever. Like my favorite Disney princess said, for the first time in forever. Probably not my favorite Disney princess. Chat, who's your favorite Disney princess? Who's the best one? I don't think there are any wrong answers here. I think all the Disney princesses are pretty based in their own right. Elsa? Can't go wrong with a little Frozen Queen, Mulan, Moana, Belle, Ariel, Rapunzel, Tiana. Yo, we're getting like full, like representation from from all of them here. <laughs> like, like, like every answer has been different so far, just about. There's so many good ones. As a non-binary person, Mulan is your fave, heck yeah. Ariel, Cinderella. I relate to Elsa on a spiritual level. I do love the cold. The cold did never bother me anyway. So I can I can respect that for sure. Does Mulan count? Absolutely. She's not like a princess in the literal sense of the word, but you know, the Disney princess sort of moniker definitely fits there. Merida or is it Merida? I've never actually saw Brave, so I don't I don't know. Aurora. Aurora is Sleeping Beauty, right? That's a that's a throwback right there. Does Shrek count? <laughs> I don't think Shrek is Disney, but you know what? Why not? Why not? Kuzco from the Emperor's New Groove. I'm here for it. Alright. Oh, I should probably actually grab my furniture catalog if I want to set up a fence, right? Hey, Pi. How you doing? Yo, I, I didn't know you could pet Pi from on top of your horse. That's new tech. That's huge, dude. Alright. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put away... Well, I need, I'm gonna need my pickaxe and stuff. My pickaxe and my scythe, I think, to clear some of the some of the stuff down there. So we'll just put away all this for right now. Then I will bring my futon bear and my furniture catalog. Never leave home without them. Iota pet pie. <laughs> Yzma is the best Disney princess. Pull the lever, Kronk. Wrong lever. Oh, Disney princesses. Gotta love them. All right, let's go. Let's figure out what the heck we're doing here. I'm gonna get rid of how much mining XP are we at? We're at 25. We got room to to work with this. Even if like one or two of these give coal, it's not the end of the world. So let's just bite the bullet. Everyone, grit your teeth for this one. Ooh, one mining XP. Oh no. It's okay. It's okay. All right, we're avoiding the coal. Of just avoiding the coal. Rip. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> like I said, one or two is not the end of the world here. One or two. One, all right, two is you know about the limit of where I'm willing to sit with that. I think <laughs> that's 50 mining experience. We just doubled our mining experience on that one. But I think that's all the stones in the area that I need to like enclose here. I'm gonna try and get rid of all these without destroying any of the other grass that's actually usable. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It was... We ripped off the band-aid. Now... Oh. That stone's gonna kind of bother me too, I think. One more. One more. Okay. That, why did it have coal in it? <laughs> Wait. That had coal, but it didn't give me extra XP? Make it make sense? You thought this stream was PG-13? <laughs> All right, every, every, you can look back. You can look back. It's a nice, clean, pristine little farm now. It's uh, we're all good now. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that happened. We we got coal from that rock like a hundred percent, but we did not get the extra XP from it. So I don't know. Blade? Somebody call Blade. 
All right, let's get these stone cairns out of here for right now as well. They'll have their time in the sun. Don't you worry about that. All right, pardon me. I just got to reach in here and put away basically all this stuff for right now. Okay, well, I'll be back for that. Mom, I'm scared. Come pick me up. It's all right. It's all right. Why are you running away? Okay. Um, now is the most important question of all. What are we building our fence out of? What are we building our fence out of? Are we doing tree columns again? Maybe some futon bears? Speaking of futon bears, I need you on here, otherwise, otherwise I don't feel comfortable. Table plants? Globes. Model ships, small crystals, decorative lanterns. Tree columns forever? We could do cacti. We could do trees of the winter star. <laughs> Shorter things this time, maybe? The tree column is such an aesthetic. Bonsai tree, though? Chat, what about a bonsai tree fence? Or a, or a trash can fence? <laughs> I can't in good conscience do a trash can f fence, I don't think. Assorted houseplants? We could do just like a, a miasma of houseplants. I'm going to start with some bonsai trees. I kind of like, I, I kind of want to just see how this looks. Bonsai tree me. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and I, th I think we start the fence just on the outside of these stumps. And because I think like this, I think this will, I can get through here. Can the animals get through there? If, if like an animal wander down here, would they be able to go across this? Probably, maybe. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Maybe they won't be smart enough to figure it out. They can? Okay. Maybe we have to be a little more creative then. Do we, maybe we'll have to, like, fence in this bottom area a little bit, too. Very Karate Kid slash Cobra Kai vibes. Oh, I forgot about Karate Kid. Dubnium will be able to, definitely. Alright, well, we'll figure that one out in a second. Let's just start off with the area that we know we can fence off right here. Boom. Boom. Did I put one down here? I did, Okay. Not that I really need to. I guess this the stumps kind of work as a fence, but we want we we're going for consistency here. Consistency is important. Okay. More bonsai trees, please. More bonsai trees. They're a little far down here. That's okay though. Just put a chair down there. I don't know if I can put anything on those tiles. Cause like it wasn't letting me put any bonsai trees down. I don't know why chairs would be different necessarily. All right, we're going to go wrap around this stone right here. How high can we go? What's the nearest? Okay, I think we can go up one more. And then start cutting across here. Okay. More bonsai trees. We're just gonna line. We're we're gonna start the outline at least with bonsai trees, and then maybe we'll figure out the we'll figure out if we want to mix it up at all. Cause it doesn't doesn't have to all be one thing. Like I could do bonsai trees and crystals, whole nice steel Zen garden motif kind of thing. But let's let's at least do the outline here with the bonsai trees. All right, that's as far as we can go. Can the animals get around this corner now? Do I need to actually fence in the whole area? Because, like, this... I, I was hoping that the ocean would work as a fence. But maybe it doesn't work as a fence. Yes. They do... They can get around there. Hmm. Does the bonsai grow at all? I don't think so. I think the bonsai are just as they are. Thankfully, we don't have to tend to them as much in, like, in this game as we would in real life. Bonsai trees are are pretty rough in real life. I think you have to, like, tend to them very meticulously if you want them to stay alive for any length of time. First time you play Beach Farm, you found the animals wandering outside the fence a lot. Okay, that is good to know. We're going to continue on the fence for a little bit here at least, but I do want to grab a weapon just to protect myself.
Well, to be on the safe side, then, why don't we just fence in the whole area as best we can? We might lose a little bit of room for grass starters and stuff, but if it's going to prevent our animals from wandering too far off the beaten track, then I think it's for the best. Is this... Okay, that's... That, that fence is in nicely right there. Kind of. But if we continue... We gotta continue the fence, like, right about there. Okay. Carry on my wayward fence. I see you lurking there, Shania. Respect the lurkers. Can we get some sevens from the lurkers in chat today? If you're, if you're lurking, doing something else while listening to the stream. Could be anything. Could be exercising. Could be doing some chores. Could be playing your own Stardew farm. Challenge or otherwise. Could be playing a different game. Could be doing a homework, although probably not because it's summer. Could be um, watching a movie. I don't know what people do in their in their free time. Uh, we don't really need to. I think if we just fence in. I kind of like going along flush with the building here. Oh my gosh, we got so many lurkers today. Holy moly! Ghost bug, the early gamer, all lemons, gherkin, blackstone eye, Adi, Dorte, Mina Bay or Mina B, uh, rice tea. Dawn time with the lurker emoji. Azray Dust, Naima, Lena, Kiki Diki, Pada was lurking before. Tanya, Cygnus, Dermeister cooking. Nice. Oh my gosh, my chat just like updated like crazy. Ne Nele, uh, Hunter fighting. Wooly socks. Justine mix. Happy 4th of July, Power Raptor. Spookgeist, Honeywell, Steph. There's so many lurkers. Peter Athena Athenasakis. Yo, if I didn't get your name, thank you to all the lurkers, no matter what. You're the lifeblood and the black backbone of the stream. Wouldn't be the same around here without you. A lot of new names in today. Welcome. If, it, if this is your first time, okay, let's try Let's try this one. If this is your first stream as well, the first time you're making it to one of these live ones, um, put a one in chat. Because I feel like I noticed a lot of new names. Maybe it's just people who have been lurking for a while and, you know, never made themselves known. But I feel like I noticed lots of new names this time. Maybe it's just for a different time zone. I don't know, but... You're working today, Casey? I appreciate you being on the front lines there. I see no ones in chat, so maybe I'm just, I'm just going crazy. <laughs> Either way, welcome on in, everybody. Good to see you. First time chatting today, Emma. Good to see you. Don't feel pressured into chatting if you don't want to. You're welcome to lurk. This is a, a lurker-friendly stream for sure. But if you feel if you feel like chatting, then you're also more than welcome to. All right, continue with our little bonsai fence here, bonsai buddy. Chat is bonsai buddy still around? It was like one. Of, it was, wasn't that like one of the first computer viruses that was like widespread? Is bonsai buddy still still kicking? All right, we can use some of this debris here as a bit of our fence. Ooh, that's a nice little... That's kind of... That's kind of... I like that. And then we just continue along like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we can link it up over here, and then that'll be a nice little fenced-in section. I think we should be able to finish this tonight, and then we can maybe refine it tomorrow with more decor options. All right, just continue along right to the shoreline as far as you can go here, and then you start going up, and you start going over, and you start going up. This is this is the staircase strat. Little knight's moves. Perfect. Okay. We're almost, we've almost closed the loop. We've almost made it to the point where we'll actually be able to allow animals outside. Not that they'll come out tonight. I mean, it's very, very late. Didn't Bonsai have a plush? I mean, I, I do know there was the monkey that's very famously associated with Bonsai Buddy. I don't know if there was ever a plush, though. I wouldn't be surprised. All right. There we go. All fenced in. Iota, you're going to be trapped in here, I think, but that's okay. You're among friends. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and... I'm not going to open up the doors just yet. I want to be on the safe side here. Let's go ahead and just close this out. I'll I'll put it in a little chair gate next time, but let's go to bed before we pass out in the fields here. Can't be having that. Hey, there's Zipporah. Good to see you. 
playing Stardew now and just got the PJR cutscene, aka the best heart event in the game. I'm so jealous. That's the wrong place for a battery pack. Putting battery pack amongst like saltwater coated fish, probably not the, the best place to store it, I would hazard a guess. Yo, uh, Enitsukri, thank you for being a member for 14 months. Did you change your name? Because I feel like I don't I don't recognize your name, but maybe I'm just tripping. <laughs> Either way, thank you for being a member for 14 months at the Neutron level. Been a while since you've been able to see the stream, but you also want to say hello and wish you luck on the gold clock. Thank you so much. Maybe it's just been a while since I've seen your name, but uh, I greatly appreciate dropping in and the generosity. Thank you so much. All right. Sunday, fun day. Do we have jades to trade in today? That's what I always think of on Sunday. 16 jades. We probably got to start stockpiling our staircases again, so might as well. What's the pickle jar rag cutscene? It would be the first time you hear it, I think, is Haley's four heart event, I'm pretty sure. Where she's trying where she's struggling to open the pickle jar. Hence the the rag. All right, staircase it up. I'll take those 16 staircases and stuff them in my fridge. As you do. So I think the next order of business here is to buy grass starters. I don't know how low we are on hay right now, but we're gonna have like so many animals. Once once we have like a f like two full coops and two full barns, we're we're already running a little low on hay. Like the animals we currently have run through our hay pretty pretty well on their own. So I think I would like to get some grass starters and set them up properly. We did plant we did put the fence already on top of some grass, but we can also do the uh, stone cairn technique in order to to make sure there's some self-sustaining grass kicking around in there. All right, I'm going to put that away for right now. Rag is a reference to a musical genre? I believe so, yes. Okay, do I need anything from here, or are we good? I think we're good. Let me first go set up some fences once again. Or not fences, but gates. Some chair-based gates. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and close that out. And then, where did I put my chairs? It was in one of the auto-grabbers. Which one? I do not know. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Good job, Dovnium. You're doing great. Why have fences when you can have tree? I've always been saying that. Okay, this is our little get in, get out zone right here. Perfect. Perfectly set up once again. Alright. Now we just got we want to do that on the bottom as well. I don't think we we didn't save the chairs from last time, so let's get some new chairs. Let's get um how am I feeling today? How am I feeling? I'm feeling a little cute. Feeling a little like a cute chair. Maybe two cute chairs. I feel like doing it there is better. Yeah. A little cute chair there. Cute chair there. These chairs look like they're made of cake or something. Bonsai tree looks great. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the bonsai trees, honestly. They blend in very nicely with the grass. You can barely tell that they're there, which could be a problem to some people, but I see it as a feature, personally. All right, bonsai trees, get out of here. I'm going to go buy some grass starters, and then we will make some magic happen. Ba grass starters. Pick up a few more stone cairns, maybe. Can I pick this up? Okay. I know we've got three. Actually, we've got six stone cairns, I think, total, because I see two more down here. I know some of them got eaten away by debris in the past, but I think we still have six total. So I'm okay with that. Maybe we don't need any more than that. We did lose some cairns to debris, yeah. But never again. We will protect these stone cairns with stone cairns with all our might and all of our techniques that we've learned up until this point. 
Beatrix, she might only be like, she, she's very, she's still a newcomer, level one fishing, and that's about it. But her debris management skill, the hidden debris management skill, level 20, bare minimum. She is so good at that right now. Did Dumnium give birth to a chair? <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. All right. It's Farmer Beatrix. I'm not a farmer. Who told you that? You look at my farming level. All right. I'm going to buy 200 grass starters to get us started here. We might need more than that. I don't know. I mean, it's... it's we, we, what, excuse me. Sorry. Sorry, George. I mean, who are you? Get out of my way. Oh, wait. I still need to get... Did I need to get leaks for George? No, that was a... Uh, that was in the Iron Man challenge. That was my bad. <laughs> the challenges, they're they're combining. Pam and I are color coordinated. Are we really? Are we matching besties? Ooh. Take a picture. Chat, take a picture of me and my bestie. Me and my bestie Pam. A little photo op. I didn't realize we were matching. So cute. So kawaii. Alright, how far can I get Iota down here? Historically not very far, but... Ooh, a little zigzag tech. And we can make it all the way. Nice. Alright, I'll take it. Let's go ahead and... I think we want to pick up the fences. I think I think this is smart. I think if we, can, if we make our fence work for us in multiple ways here. It might take a little while to actually do this. Go like a whole all the way along the perimeter, but the animals shouldn't be able to eat these eat this grass. Like these the, they're bonsai trees. I know they don't work they're not exactly the same as stone cairns, but for this purpose they should work the same way as stone cairns, right? I don't see why they wouldn't. Otherwise maybe I'm just wasting my time here, but Okay. Just a literal grass fence. Love to see it. Um, might as well go all the way. Go big or go home, as they say. Oh. Anywhere, I can, anywhere I can see bonsai tree. Okay, that bo that bonsai tree is it just, it just you know it poke, pokes above the grass unexpectedly high. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Dude, this is so relaxing. Why didn't anyone tell me that it's, like, kind of relaxing to decorate your farm in this game? I always get so stressed out about the... Not that this is decorating by any stretch of the imagination. This is... This is... My idea of decorating, but, you know, it's... <laughs> it's not for everybody. And... But either way, I'm feeling relaxed while I'm doing this. I don't know how better to explain it than that. You think the fertile fence was more hidden? This, this seems like a very hidden fence to me. This fence is so great. Who needs a golden clock? This fence is never going to decay. These bonsai trees will never die. They're plastic. Don't tell anybody. That's my, that's my secret to keeping bonsai trees alive for so long, is I just buy the plastic ones. Decorating for challenge runners, basically, yeah. Is there a decorating-based challenge run out there? Probably not, because, like, decorating is such a, such a subjective experience, but you probably build something around a decorating challenge. You know, like, get, get and use at least one of every piece of furniture that is possible. Because I know you can't... I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not possible to get every single piece of furniture in, on the same save file. Because I know for a fact that Penny's 14 heart event, there's like multiple outcomes that get you multiple different kinds of furniture that are only available through that heart event. And I don't think, I think you can only see that once, even in like multiplayer. Can you tell that I've done research on this in the past? Plus you can't get both the Stardew Hero Trophy and the Joja Cola vending machine on the same playthrough. If you count those as furniture. Boom. 
hat urchin percent. That's probably about the closest we get, huh? All right. Are we fully fenced in? Not quite. I mean, we are fully fenced in, but not fully grassed in. Okay, I, I, I can do it. I can get around to this last one. Perfect. Perfect. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. All right, let me go grab my, our stone cairns, because, I mean, not that I really need the stone cairns anymore with this setup, but... I have the stone cairns, I might as well use them. Ooh, dinosaur egg, I can donate it. Or I can incubate another one. All right, I also need, I wanna get rid of this this fiber, this, hello. I can't do it with just my hand, I guess. All right. Hold on, just gotta pick up all this. All right, stone cairns. I like one, wait, can I put grass starter on this stuff? I cannot put grass starter on a hoed tile. I know what I must do. I don't I don't want to be creatively restricted by all these all these hoed spots. And there's only one way to fix it. Well, come on in. It's your dad. Good to see you. You haven't missed too much yet. We're currently in the process of revamping the animal portion of our farm. To make it, you know, a little bit more manageable, a little bit more sleek, and to expand it a little bit for more money potential. Because at the end of the day, this goal just comes down to how fast can you make money. We're currently we're currently on the downward trajectory from where we started even two streams ago. Didn't we start with like 1.8 million at the start of last stream? And now we're down to like 1.6 million. But you know what? It's it's an investment. It's an investment in our future. Okay. 1.7 million, you think? We've been up to at least... I think 1.8 million, roughly, is our, like, highest t golden pocket so far. But it won't be our highest for very long, hopefully. Okay. Grass starter right here. Stone cairn. The stone cairns, they just produce grass. This is the... That's the true cannon. Okay, one right there. I think one over, you know, get rid of this. Get rid of this, and then put one stone cairn. I want like one right there. We got one basically for every one of our farm buildings so far. And then we can add just a couple extras, just just cheeky ones around here. One right there towards the bottom, and why don't we do one towards, like, the very top as well? Kind of evenly spread them as best I can here. I guess this is the one that's already towards the very top anyway, but why don't we do one right here could be nice. Ooh. There we go. And now I'm going to spread all the grass that I have remaining just kind of willy-nilly around here. Are we going to sleep through spring, fall, and winter so it's always starfruit season? Probably would be the fastest way to go about making money, but you know what? I'm, I'm kind of about that diversity lifestyle. I kind of want to diversify our money-making schemes, even if we won't make money quite as fast that way. I think it's just more fun. You know, we're in this golden clock grind for the long haul, no matter how we approach it, I think, because we have access to very limited money-making potential. So why not have a little bit of extra fun with it while we can? I'm thinking, you know, slime hutch. I'm thinking casino. I'm thinking volcano mines. I'm thinking skull cavern runs. There's there's a whole myriad of untapped potential options here. What's your programming tip for the day? Um, don't be afraid to make custom functions if you need them. It can be tempting to just use all the default functions and things in your library to try and solve every problem, but sometimes the problem it needs a more customized solution. So I, I know I've always, I, I, for some reason, I, maybe I'm, maybe this is a problem that I just have and no one else is going to have it, but I have had it, so I have to believe that at least one other person has. I'm kind of averse to creating my own functions a lot of the time. But sometimes it's all you can do, or at least it's the best thing to do. 
552 hay in here, by the way. I should probably just go put that in the silos. Also, be free, my animal friends. The farm is finally set for them to be able to go outside tomorrow. Finally get some sun. Greenhouse fruit trees are really good considering restrictions. Up to almost twice the, twice the money of a cow barn. Wait, hold up. <laughs> yeah, we should probably do something with the greenhouse. Because the greenhouse is just kind of sitting here, right? Speaking of fruit trees, it's probably not a bad idea to actually, like, collect the fruit that is growing on them. I haven't been doing this because it's kind of a pain to take it to Pierre's all the time and sell it. And I have, I mean, that's not a great excuse, but it is the excuse I'm rolling with. But you know what? This is all about revamping our farm to get it into a good, good spot to make money. So I'm going to go ahead and you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to move... Holy moly, my my inventory is so junky right now. Hold on a second, let me let me sort that out before. You gotta take care of yourself before you can take care of anyone else. Is the is the lesson here? Take care of your inventory first, and everything else will follow. Okay. More jades in there. Put the coal away. Let's go get our traditional inventory set up back. Hold on a second, hold on. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Now I want to move my fruit. I would like to put all my fruit in this chest, just so it's easily... Just, just so I know that that's the fruit chest. At least, like, the fruit tree fruit. And then I'll maybe I'll also put the... Oh, there's four jades in here randomly, that's weird. Uh, maybe I'll also put the mushrooms in there, because we're going to be checking the mushroom cave as well. In theory, it kind of fits the same niche as the fruit trees. Get peach trees, you think they sell for the most? We can look into that. We can definitely look into a little fruit tree action for our greenhouse. I think that's a smart call. That said, I mean... We could, go, we could, are we going to go with the most profitable option or are we going to go with cherries? Because <laughs> that's just, you know, how we live our life. All right, 204 hay in here. I'll take it. Peaches or pomegranates, they sell for the same. Bananas. Can we get banana saplings? I don't, I don't know if we can get banana saplings. Hold on a second. Let me, let me wiki this. Because that, that could be a fun little side adventure. Let's see. Fruit trees. What's the most profitable fruit tree? Apricots, 50 gold. Cherries, 80 gold. Banana saplings, 150 gold. Mango saplings, 130. Orange saplings, 100. Peach saplings, 140. So, I mean, peach saplings are still better. No, wait. Oh, no. Bananas are 150. Bananas are 150. Peach saplings are 140. Apples are 100. Pomegranates are 140. Okay, so bananas are the way. If we could get banana saplings, is that possible? What are our outs for getting banana saplings? Could you get five dragon teeth or a golden coconut? Blue discus pond. That would require fishing experience, though, so that's probably not the, not the good play. Banana sapling. It can be purchased from the island trader in exchange for five dragon teeth. They can sometimes be found by opening golden coconuts. Professor Snail gives a banana sapling as a reward for completing the large animal collection in the island field office. A little banana. Are we going to go full tropical mode in our greenhouse? That could be a fun, fun time. We could also plant them on Ginger Island now that I'm thinking about it, but that would be a little more cumbersome to actually get to all the time because we don't have an island obelisk, nor can we really get one, nor can we get really island warp totems. That easily. You think the teeth are the way? Peaches then bananas. Peaches and bananas sounds like a great, sounds like a match made in heaven. Honestly, peach pomegranates were also are also pretty good though. 
Peach, pomegranate, and banana sounds like a good smoothie mix. Yo, let's open up our own smoothie stall. Stall. I'm here for it. Hold on a second, though. My headphone cord's getting all tangled. Okay. Speaking of peaches, though, don't we have, don't we have, like, a peach sapling? We got a peach and orange sapling for peach and orange tree, not even sapling. They're fully grown and have been for a hot minute, so let's just, let's grab all these. Dude, why are those, why are they so big? Did you see how big those oranges were? I don't remember being that big. Was, uh, <laughs> was that hot patched in? What song is this? I got you. Exclamation point music, by the way, for the, for the actual full playlist. But this is uh, Hateno Village. Made from, by, uh, by QMU. Link to QMU's channel also in the description below the video. QMU does great video game remixes, and this is the remix of Hateno Village from uh, Breath of the Wild. All right. Before we worry, worry about whatever fruit trees endeavor, whatever, oh, hold on, chat. I forgot to water my star fruit today. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Um, okay. Don't. We can we can do this. We can, we can pull this off. We can pull this off. Mission impossible. Mission impossible. Iota, I don't think you're going to be able to navigate this, this path easily. My star fruit. There's five star fruit, and I have to water them every day, or else they will not be... they will not grow. We're on a very, very tight schedule with these. Alright. They're at least watered. Whether I pass out or not, it remains to be seen, but <laughs> at least the job is done. Whole, I can't believe I remembered that the last possible second there. Those are the exact reasons that I take, like, my mental... my mental checklist at the end of every day. Perfect. Alright, we made it. That's, I'm trying to refill my watering can. Maybe not the most opportune time to do so. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right. And you know what? Why don't we start today by going and watering those star fruit? I feel like that's <laughs> that's the smarter option here. Is not not to you know put it off until whenever I happen to remember it because it could it might be too late next time. While it's top of mind here, let's just go ahead and take care of business right off the bat. Never flinched? Yeah, I wasn't even sweating it. I didn't even worry a single little bit. Exclamation point optimism, it never went down. Alright. Starfruit growing nice and strong here. Make Ollie into a shirt so he's with us forever. Ollie is going to be released eventually. I just don't know when. <laughs> it might be, I think, I think the golden clock. Once, once we have, you know, tapped Ollie's motivational potential to help us get the gold clock, I think that's, uh, I think that'll be his time to, to part ways with us. Chad, look at it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. The animals, they're finally out and about. I don't know why you're bow guarding this coop over here. Yo, they get to actually explore. They're, they're so happy. They've got to be so happy for the first time in so long. I'm loving it. Our next barn is also almost built. It's all coming together, baby. Ollie would rather be a shirt than being destroyed by Oscar. What makes you say that Ollie would be destroyed by Oscar rather than the other way around, though? Ollie is the hero of this story. He's too powerful. The fact that we even have him on our side is, uh, is crazy to me. There's a little frog hiding in that piece of grass. I know. Welcome on in. <laughs> must have missed a lot. Ginger Island, Barn, Coop, Starfruit, Junimo Huts. You, you've been, yeah, you must have been away for a hot minute, but welcome on in. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Um, fruit trees. Fruit trees is the next order, next order of business here. 
We're not using our greenhouse for anything else. I want to let's let's space this out before we just go and buy fruit trees all willy nilly. Let's have a look here, because the the greenhouse we're never going to use it for crops really, um, at least not for a long long time. So we could basically just fill this entire area with fruit trees. What's the best way to do that? Like I could put one like here, because they need like nine tiles right for each fruit tree. So like you like do like one here, two. Three, four, five. It's like five fruit trees. And one, two, three, four. It's like roughly a five by five area for fruit trees. 18 fruit trees is the max. Bit 15 ish around the outside. Gold clock. It's been our goal not for too long, actually. We're still in the in the preliminary stages of making money, or at least getting set up to make money. How many eggplants have I shipped so far? Not enough. Not enough. Only 48. Wiki has the greenhouse layout. Does it have a like a full greenhouse of fruit trees though? Greenhouse. Greenhouse. It's, it's I don't I do not see the layout. I must be on the wrong page. Sixteen. I mean, we don't worry. We don't care about the sprinklers. Fruit trees. Eighteen fruit trees placed to maximize. Yeah, but that's only along the outside. We want to go straight down the middle too. I'm gonna buy twenty five fruit trees. And tw by twenty five, we can probably do more. We blaze our own trail around here. I could I could definitely follow that pattern that's listed on the on the wiki. But no one's ever done a full greenhouse of fruit trees before. We're pay, we're, we're carving new paths here. Eighteen on the edges, twelve on the soil. Honeywell, I trust you. I trust you on this. Okay, so if we can do 30 total, then we would want to do, in the if we want to be as, you know, as mathematically pleasing about it as possible, we would want to do 10 peach saplings, 10 pomegranate saplings, and 10 banana saplings, if we want to mix it up. I think that's the way to go, so we're going to go ahead and just start with that. Yeah. Ten. Just casually spend the hundred and twenty thousand dollars. They'll take a little while to pay for themselves, but I think they will pay for themselves. Do we need 50 banana- 50 dragon teeth for the banana saplings? I was about to say 50 banana teeth. Banana teeth sounds very cursed, actually. I'm just picturing, like, a Babadook-style monster, but with bananas for teeth. Frog's legs, welcome on in. Alright. Let me have a look at this- at this wiki thing again. Let's see. Just- just so I know. Let's- so I can do 18 along the edges. So I don't- I can't actually plant them, like, straight up in the corners. Okay, that's good to know. So we can do, like, a little something like this. Like, we, like we can start up here... ...with a peach. And then we can go- so it, I can't do here, I can't do here, but I can do here. Okay, so that's- that's the spacing. And we go, like, another two over, three, four, five, six. Okay. How do we make this as cool as possible? Can I go, can I do, like, let me, let me have a quick look at the, at the map again. I would need to go one further down to do that. Because, yeah, they do need, like, nine tiles around them, I think. So I can't just... 
I couldn't do like one right here. Or could I? Maybe? And then like No, no. Because they because like this top this this tile is taken up. Okay, no, yeah, so I can't do that, I'm pretty sure. Too close to another tree, yeah. I just want to be confident that I plant these in the right spot because I can't very well dig them up. Contrasting rows. Do we get a, like even rows here? I think we got to do like even rows. Can I go so I can go like six wide and five long? Is I think how this how this works basically. What if we do it like? Ooh, I kind of have an idea. What if we? Okay, so we're gonna go we're gonna go like this. Two, three, four, five. Six. Okay. And then what if we do... One, too close to another tree. Right? That's my bad. That's my bad. Wait. Is that my bad? Because that should be there. That should be there. Yeah, okay. So it's one further down. Okay. One. Two. Oh, I kind of I kind of wish I'd done this differently. It's okay. It's, it's not a big deal. It'll be fine. Like this. And then we have four banana saplings there, and then six along the bottom. How do we feel about that? I feel like that's... That's as good as it's gonna get. I think this is pretty good. Yo, Honk! Welcome on in. Good to see you, Honks. Why this pattern? I don't know. It, was, it felt right in the moment. <laughs> It'll get us 30 trees, which is, which is the max. Special order board, good call. We should check the special order board, even if it's not uh, not likely or not feasible to do most of the quests. Doesn't mean it's not possible. Worst streak of goals ever. Befriend Dwarf Desert Obelisk Blue Discus Gold Clock. <laughs> it technically wasn't an exact streak, but, you know, to get an obelisk and a gold clock in, the, in like, the first 20 goals of the randomizer is, uh... On the lower end of the luck spectrum, I would say. It's, a uh, it's suboptimal. But suboptimal is my middle name. It's kind of just what we do around here. Fragments of the past and prismatic jelly. No thanks, I'm not going to worry too much about that. I've got, I've got enough on my plate right now, I don't want to worry about adding bones and slimes to my plate too. Sounds like a disgusting meal. Don't think you've ever planted green trees in the greenhouse soil. It's a little bit cursed, but it's kind of it's kind of just the the spot we're in. Okay. So I can't go to Ginger Island, or I can't go and like stay on Ginger Island to do like any dragon tooth farming or anything like that just yet because I have to I have to stay and babysit these last five star fruit until I can get a sprinkler for them. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. What I will worry about is keeping my debris in check, starting with these, these hardwood trees. We don't want them to grow too all over the place just yet. Okay. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Good job, Hootie. Good job, Hootie and Hootie. It's not confusing at all. Somehow I remembered this supply crate down here. Ooh, four Omni Geodes. That's actually pretty decent. 91 farming experience. Dude, I can't, I'm so thrown off by the bonsai trees. I, I'm like, why can't I ride through here? Oh yeah, there's a fence there. You just can't see it. It won't blend in quite as well. It'll be easier to see once fall hits and the grass changes color, but that's a, that is pretty funny. All right. So for now, like, I do want to go to Ginger Island and see about tackling the banana tree crisis. But, I don't think we're in a good spot to do that. I can not open these three gold coconuts. I got these from an artifact spot. So maybe we, we start with this and see if we can get some 
bananas out of this, because there's no reason we can't open these right now. That won't uh, invalidate any goals. He'd never want to do all fr all fruit trees outside of a challenge, which will make this a cool challenge. I'm with you. Pushing the frontiers of Sardu as best we can. All right. So yeah, we'll open these up at some point. Um, anything else I need to do today? I don't think so. I think we just sleep it away. I only lose $3,750 from 5 star fruit, so it's worth it because I don't need to pay the for the boat every day. I appreciate you doing the math, but I think I'm just out, out of principle. I worked hard for this star fruit. I'm going to keep going on it. I want to see it through. I can't abandon this star fruit now. I would just, like, die of cringe if I just, like, had this whole field nice and set up and then just let five of them go by the wayside because I want to go spelunking for a little bit. Tyler time. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Our next barn... Oh, I forgot our next barn is built. Okay, our next barn is built, which means I should probably fill it up. Oh, it's Tuesday. Wait, Tuesday... Robin is... I can I can still catch Robin, I think, and get her to upgrade my barn to a big barn if I catch her at the right time. And then I can go down to Marnie and I can get more animals. Also, we should probably fill up our other coop, right? Hold on a minute. Let me just... Let's, let's take it one step at a time here. We're going to start on our big barn upgrade if I can, if I can make it in time. We should be able to. I know you can catch her as like a as a drive-by salesperson as, as she goes right past her her desk on her way to aerobics. Be like, hey Robin, I know you're off to, you know, take some well-deserved personal time and exercise your mind, body, and soul, but I need you to build this big barn in the next like three days. Can you do that for me? <laughs> Marnie's a lost cause. Oh yeah, Marnie goes to aerobics too. That's okay. We'll catch her tomorrow. No big deal. Around 9.30, you think, for Robin? Well, we're not going to risk it. No! No, I just realized! No. Yesterday was our homie's birthday! I'm such a bad friend! Oh my gosh. I don't even know about our other friends, to be honest with you. 18th of spring? What about Sam? 17th of summer? I missed two of my friend's birthdays! <laughs> I'm I'm so laser focused on the money. I'm letting letting my important interpersonal relationships go by the wayside. I gotta I gotta make up for that somehow. I don't know how just yet, but we'll make up for it. Poor homie. Sam, I'm not sweating as much, but like <laughs> our homie. They, they're my best friend. All right, Robin. There she goes. Look at They're good friends. They'll understand. I'll go. I'll go, I'll go face them today. Better to just rip off the band-aid and and not stress about it as much. All right, construct me a large barn, please. Big barn, me. Any cult of the Lambda activity going on here? I'm watching you guys. They're congregating a little bit. All right, big barn. It's for the greater good. I hope they understand. We'll pay them a quick visit and see. Hey there. It's it's me, it's Beatrix. How you doing? I know it's you know a little too little too late, but cave carrot stew, cave carrot roast, cave carrot soup, and cave carrots au gratin. Do you think they're trying to tell me something? You think they're trying to tell me they were very hungry on their birthday and they really wanted a ramekin of cave carrot brulee to sweeten the night? 
I know what I must do. I know what I must do. Do I have any cave carrots? Surely I have cave carrots. How are you doing, Pam? Pam, I need I need your assistance. I need your advice. I, I really messed this one up. I had hopes and dreams like you once, but look at me now. All right, maybe you're not in the best mental space to offer advice. Good luck on, like, whatever you're doing. They won't hate them. They, they don't hate the cave carrots. They love cave carrots. I, well, they, they at least like cave carrots. I don't know if they if it's on their love list. Pretty sure I've given them cave carrots before. Yeah, like gifts, you know what? It's But that's, that's what they're insinuating. They say they really love cave carrots right now. They're really craving them, so let's go for it. Ask them where they've been. Here's the thing. I don't. I know. I know the. I know my homie very well. I don't think they've been anywhere. <laughs> I think they've been in this exact spot for the better part of the past ten years. This reminds you of home. Glad I could help. Happy Happy birthday. Happy birthday. All right. Let me head on into town here. Give myself a little birthday present for for our homie. I know it's not my birthday, but you know I'll take what I can get process these. We're hoping for a banana sapling. Can we get some banana emojis in chat, just to be on the safe side here? I mean, I know that we're really pretty much guaranteed to get it anyway. The first one's going to be a gold walnut, but I need I need the luck of whatever banana emojis you can bestow upon me. Please. Alright, banana emojis. I don't know what the odds on this are, but we're going to give it a try. Alright, gold walnut, that's a guarantee. Ooh, you know what? It's not it's not a not a banana sapling, but that's about the next best thing we could get probably. It's a mango sapling. The wrong kind of tree, wrong kind of tree. It takes 28 days to produce a mature mango tree. We should probably keep this just so then when we get our inevitable, you know, ship a mango, we'll be ready to go. But it's not exactly what we're looking for. So it's not like an absolute loss, but not an absolute win either. Also, new drip just dropped. <laughs> we got to find a good outfit for this to, to match, but give the hat to Iota. We could put the mango sapling in the greenhouse, but we've only got space for 10 trees in there right now. I feel like we want to leave it for 10 banana saplings. Need magnets for some cooked dishes. These pl they produce fruit in summer, right? Can I pl Is there any room over here to fit another fruit tree? Your mango sapling won't be able to grow here. Mango? Man mango me? I could chop one of these down. We could put it on Ginger Island, that's true. It doesn't necessarily have to be there either. You know what? I've got a great spot for it. It's going to be a little out of the way, but there's some recently freed up real estate that I think we can make good use of. Ten banana taplings will take so long. We didn't make any progress in this challenge by taking the easy way out, though. Everyone say hello to Mango Island. Alright, and I'll forget about that for the next however many streams, and then head down there on a whim one time and be like, Oh yeah, there's a banana tree down here, or a mango tree down here. You can always cut them down. We're not about that. Not about that lifestyle. Cutting down fruit trees is too cursed for my liking. Alright. This, this golden helmet, it's it's being cute, but I gotta go back to my traditional drip. That said, where is Iota? We gotta tr we have to at least try it out. Where's the Junimo hut? The Junimo hut has been relocated to the sprinkler area. Relocated and subsequently cloned. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
I mean, it's a very... Iota, you're a very safe-looking horse now. This why is, why is it so big, dude? Holy moly. It's literally, like, it is... It's basically the exact same size as, a, as an actual golden coconut. I shouldn't be surprised, but somehow I am. It's a look for sure. I don't think I don't think it holds a candle to the propeller hat, to be quite frank with you. The propeller hat is too cute. Golden helmet, maybe we'll find a use for you at some point. I'm at least happy to have you. But for right now, you're gonna go sit in our drawer, I think. Go sit in the drawer and think about what you've done. Think about that you could have been a banana sapling. Iota going to the X Games. Octopus with level one fish. Yeah, it was a that was a tough one. Probably our toughest like skill based goal so far was the octopus, Ollie the octopus here. But we got there. Level zero fishing? Nah, I was level one fishing. I wish I wish I could get the claim to fame of level zero fishing, but tis not the case. All right. Um, was I doing anything else today? I don't think so. We're waiting on our iridium sprinkler on Friday. Then we'll probably stick around a little while longer to get things set up for fall, and then we can head over to Ginger Island for a little bit. For to, we can actually stay for a little bit in order to make use of our time there. So I think we just sleep, right? Are we good to just are we good to just sleep for the foreseeable future? Sleep, water our star fruit. And let the fields fall where they may. I think we're good to go. Like, we're pretty well set up. Mushrooms? Oh, you're right, mushrooms. Mushroom check and fruit tree check is, uh, is the order of the day. Thank you for the reminder, Malehu. And Ghost with Bow, hello. Good to see you. All right, so mushrooms, we'll check. Fruit trees, what are we on? Are we, because we, we got a three day cycle with fruit trees, so tomorrow is when we check them. So it's the 24th, which is actually a, a multiple of three, so that makes it easy to remember, hopefully. Boop, boop, boop. Not much room in that cave, but um, tsh. I, could sh I should set up something that regrows in, gin in fall so I can stay on Ginger Island as long as I need to. I'm with you, actually, yeah. I think we're going to do a little eggplant and a little bit of cranberries, maybe. Pumpkins are the obvious standout as far as, you know, money makers. Oh, let's grab our... Let's start with the fruit trees here. But eggplants we can ship, and cranberries are a pretty good money maker too, right? Why the fruit trees? Fruit trees are decent money makers. They're decent passive money, which is kind of what we're all about right now, is passive money. We can do a little bit of active money making as well via Skull Caverns, once we get our staircase collection built up a little bit more again. But otherwise, the fruit trees are fruit trees plus crops plus animals. It, it, it'll get us there eventually. I don't know how long it's going to take. Drop your guesses in chat now. What year are we going to be in when we finally get to build the gold clock? We're currently in year nine, about halfway through year nine. Where are we going to finally end up? We have not gotten ship a peach or orange, but we're allowed to sell stuff directly to Pierre. We have uh, that was not allowed at the start of the challenge, but we've hence changed since changed that rule. Thankfully, year 16, year 15, 17, 11, 15, 13, 12, 15. A lot of people saying around year 15. I wish I could say that I was more optimistic than that, but I think that you're absolutely kind of spot on right there. <laughs> We do need to buy animals, that's true. You know what, I forgot about that. Thank you for the reminder, Pata. We actually should go buy some animals for our 
for our coop and our barn. We have a coop that is almost empty and a barn that is literally completely empty. Oh, I also need to buy a an auto petter for our new barn. I forgot we have the whole the whole new barn to set up. Because we got we got the auto grabber. I'll go buy an auto petter. Just bite the bullet. And then we will buy some animals and we'll be good to go, I think. Yeah, being able to ship this stuff would be a lot more bearable, that's for sure. Shipping is still a very nice convenience to have, but thankfully we don't need it. Otherwise, we'd be we'd be in the geode farming mines for quite some time. All right, look away. Chat, look away. We're spending way too much money here, but <laughs> it'll be worth it. It's going to be worth it. We'll be back up to 1.8 million before we know it here. Don't you fret. It's just the cost of doing business right now. I did water the star fruit, yeah. Thanks for thank you for the reminder though, Laisha. Thank you for looking out. But I did. I'm pretty sure anyway. I'm missing water in my can. Okay. Marnie, how you doing? Long time no see. Purchase animals. All right, this is where we make our decisions here. What the heck are we doing with the barn and the coop? I think I, I looked into this and I did the math. Chat, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the most profitable barn animal is cows, and I think the most profitable coop animal is chickens. <laughs> as boring as it might be, I think that's actually true. Also, why is my stream preview, like, so far behind? Cows and chickens, 100%. Grab a rabbit for friendship. We already have a decent amount of rabbits in our... Like, we, ha we have some of every one of these animals except for pigs, because pigs we just literally can't make use of yet. Um... Yeah, cows... Like, on a daily basis... If you, if you do the math, because cows produce milk every day, goats produce, produce milk every two days, I think if you have, like, a certain build, sheep can actually be very profitable as well. Like, if you have, like, the coop master and your sheep are, like, really high friendship and stuff, then it, it'll... It actually might outpace cows. Cows and chickens forever. Don't need to buy any coop animals. Oh, you're right, I could actually just incubate, uh, eggs for that. Is it- is it more worth- is it worth it to just buy the chickens, though, to save the time on- on incubating eggs? Like, how long does it take for a chicken to incubate? Cows it is. Yeah, it's- it's, it's gotta be- for- for the barn, I think cows is the only realistic way to go. Yeah, goat milk is not... It's it's actually pretty close. Goat, goat milk is not worth two times cow milk, though, unfortunately. Six days or something outrageous. Is that true? I thought I thought a chicken would incubate a lot faster than that, because it's... I mean, it's just a chicken. Let me look at this up. Chicken wiki. Let's see. To take five days and 16 hours to incubate? What the heck? I'm just gonna buy my chickens, too. <laughs> I'm just gonna buy some chickens. They're only 800 gold. It's not that bad. You know, I'm I'm already putting so much money into this sink. I might as well just keep going here. All right, let's just start with the cows, though. All right, start with start cow it up. Choose a new barn for my how now brown cow. All right, that barn's full. That's good to at least know for sure. All right, forty. How do you even how do you even say that without tripping over your own tongue? It sounds like you sneeze when you're trying to say uh, like I'm, I'm turning forty. I'm turning forty. I'm turning forty tomorrow. All right, name your new animal. So this these are names we name our animals after mathematical concepts around here, at least the barn animals, and we name the coop animals after elements. Name your new. Let's see. So this cow, I mean, we're going to have to name a lot of cows. We got to rapid fire through this. 
What's a good chat? Just start start dropping mathematical concepts. Pythagoras? We might already have one named Pythagoras, but we're gonna go with it. Pythagoras. Pythagoras, go for it. Perfect. Alright. Another one. Another one, Marnie. What do we got? Delta, Euler, Kowloon. <laughs> oh, it's like Kaloom. I kind of like that. Wait, what? I'll send little she to her new home right away. What? Did it skip the name or did I accidentally click too fast? All right. We got one named she. Sure. Why not? <laughs> okay. I think I clicked too fast. Fricky? What did you say to me? All right. Euler. Give me another cow. She is a math concept. <laughs> she she sure is a math concept. All right, Manu. All right. Let's go with um logarithm, maybe logarithm. Do you know how you spell logarithm? I'm not gonna think too hard about it. Purchase another dairy cow, please. This barn, as it stands, can currently fit how many? Oh, it's full. Okay, that building's full. We're good. <laughs> All right. We're going to need to buy some chickens, though. Well cared for adult chickens lay eggs every day. You don't say. All right, chicken it up. Choose a new coop for my white chicken. All right, this coop, we've got room for a lot of chickens in here. All right, elements. Let's go. You are going to be lithium the chicken. Delicious. Name unavailable. I've already named something lithium. Derivative. <laughs> We're off mathematical concepts. We're into elements now. Also, welcome, Charloji. Um, You're going to be Einsteinium. Is that even how you spell that? Good enough. Close enough. All right. Purchase another chicken. Uranium, Rutherfordium, Plutonium, Iridium, Nanino, Nani, Iridium. Whoops. All right, keep going, keep it going. Chicken me. Vibranium, Polonium, Radium, Neon. Guess what, fool? You're Neon. Bismuth. Ooh, Bismuth is a good name. It, it, it's, it's so good, we might have already used it. Arsenic, I'm pretty sure we did use, actually, for one of our Void Chickens. Bismuth. Name unavailable, we have used that. Um, Curium, Krypton, Xenon. What about Tungsten? Tungsten the Chicken, the buffest chicken of all time. Hydrogen. Sometimes you, you can't do any better than hydrogen. Hydrogen. You gotta go back to your roots every now and again. Peroxide, tin, fluoride. Minert. This one's gonna be called Jerry. You gotta have one named Jerry every now and again. You just gotta throw you gotta throw a little Jerry curveball. Alright, back to elements though. Peroxide is not an element, but it is oxygen is an element. You're named it's a chicken named Oxygen. <laughs> what the heck are we doing, dude? You've been half an hour into the past. Alice, welcome on back to the present. This chicken is for you. Mercury. Perfect. I don't know how many more chickens we have room for. We're just going to keep going until, until the chicken flow stops. Propy. 
Propanol? Rubidium. Rubidium. Dopamine? She and Jerry are your new faves. Get that word off my screen. Um, Seaborgium? What about, um, what's that one? Flavortown? Flavorium? I can't name a chicken Argon. That's too narcissistic. Plutonium? Carbon? Carbon. Carbon the chicken. You are what you eat. Name unavailable, huh? Um... Seaborgium? We gotta be closing in on the end here. Neon, we've done. I can hit you with a little polonium, maybe. Polonium? Probably don't do that in real life. Don't hit someone with polonium in real life. I'm pretty sure it's radioactive. Antimony? That sounds like a very fancy chicken. Oh, we're all out. That building is full. This building's full. This building doesn't contain chickens. White chickens can't live there. Why? What are you saying? You look, you can't just say that on TV. <laughs> White chickens can't live there. What are you talking about? <laughs> Oy vey. <laughs> All right, let's go set up the barn properly. We can also let these animals out of their barn, our new little swarm of baby cows and chicks. Come on out. Look to all the little baby cows. Little baby cows. Oh my gosh, we got such a... We're gonna have so much... Such a full field around here. Holy moly. Unintentionally rude. This one's shy. Little shy cow. It's okay. I'm, I'm shy too a lot of the time. Um, Let's fill this up real quick. Because we don't have an auto feeder just yet. We will need more cows when the barn is upgraded. We'll probably... Well, we'll wait until maybe we get the full deluxe upgrade till we add all the rest of the cows. Oh my gosh. Are we going to be able to subsist this many animals? I don't even know. <laughs> we should make a net profit regardless of how we do it, but it's going to be... It's going to take a lot of grass. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, heaters! You know what? You know what? Cha uh, Chaotica? I completely blanked on heaters. You're absolutely correct. We should go get some heaters right now. Extra silos? I should get at least one extra silo. Maybe two. In order to make sure we have a nice supply of hay for the winter. Chaz, is this what it's like playing Stardew Valley normally? You have to, like, worry about, like, how much food you have for your animals and stuff. I'm becoming a, a well and proper rancher. Excuse me. I want to buy some stuff. Supply shop. Buy two heaters, please. Thank you. Sorta. This is not normal. What is not normal about this? Chat, tell me one thing that is not normal about how our farm is set up right now. You can't. I'll wait, but you can't. Our farm is, is so very normal by our standards. That's the little linchpin you gotta you gotta throw in there. It's normal by our standards. But our standards are very strange. <laughs> and I wouldn't have it any other way, to be quite honest with you. Normal is weird. Normal is weird. Weird is the new cool. I did do the Jojo route, you're not wrong. Alright, Dubnium. I'm gonna assume you're Dubnium because you're the closest one to this coop. You're gonna have a, a lot of baby chicks to take care of. Be good to them, okay? Be good to them, Dubnium. They're, they're all gonna take after you. They're all, all the chickens are honorary ducks in this coop. And Dubnium will take good care of them, I'm sure. 
There are random rocks everywhere. They're not random. They're purposefully left. It's an artistic choice. You wouldn't understand. You know what? I take it back. Our farm is not normal, but that's better. Because being, like I said, being normal... Chat, why would you ever want to be normal when you can be unique? Dub me on the ugly duckling. Did I water the star fruits? We'll double check. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure we did. But you are the you are the second person to ask, Dark Mimi, so it behooves me to go and double check. Yeah, we did. Okay, we're good. All right. I've also not been keeping up necessarily with Debris Day, but that's okay because this grass kind of takes care of Debris Day most of the time for us anyway. Dubnium is a fine duck, but kind of a weird chicken. All right. So we're pretty well set up. I We're going to need to set up... We're going to need to build our deluxe coop either tomorrow or the next day. I don't remember how long it's going to take or when we we set it, we set it up yesterday. Is it going to take one more day after this? Yes, I think it's going to take like until Friday for us to be able to renovate our coop again. The farm is beautiful, just needs a few paths. All right, I think we're ready for sleep now. We're at a net gain of negative 400,000 dollars since we got the goal. It's alright. Well, we're gonna come back in style. Just you wait. We gotta keep up on our cherry wine preserves, though. Priorities and all that. Soon we'll have a gold clock and goodbye debris day. That is the one very nice thing about having the gold clock, is that it'll actually completely negate our debris problems. We'll have to deal with whatever debris is around at the time of the gold clock's construction, but beyond that, debris will be a thing of the past. And I, for one, can't wait. I just can't wait for that gold, that gold clock. It's gonna be so nice to build that on my farm. When do I think I'll be able to address the debris? Uh, I plead the fifth. I mean, re realistically, once I get some foraging and mining levels, we'll be able to handle the debris pretty efficiently, I think. It's just a matter of getting to that point in our life. Is there a reason that I had... Did I have a reason for coming down here, or did I just want to check out my animals? Did you see that tea-posing chicken? And sometimes you don't need any reason other than just coming down to check on your animals. We got such a nice full field here. Holy. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Barn looks ready. Oh, that is a big barn. This is a big barn. Okay, we can go and uh, you're absolutely correct. First, let me just make sure. I know our animals are eating outside anyway, but we should fill this up just to be on the safe side. Now we can go and get our deluxe barn. Happy fourth, Tyler. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, our sojourn to Ginger Island is our next order of business after we get everything set up here. Once we get into fall, I think that's going to be our cue to go to Ginger Island. Where did I leave Iota? It's times like this that I really wish I could invest in a horse flute. Thankfully, Iota's hat makes her stand out very nicely against basically everything. Tyler, thank you for being a member for seven months at the Positron level, no less. Can we get some Argon love for Tyler Watson? Thank you very much for the support. I greatly appreciate it. All 
right. One last time. Well, actually not one last time because I'm going to need to come back for another silo or two at a certain point. But for the barn, one last time. The Lux barn it up. Good shout out, Ellen, by the way. Don't forget to plant wheat when the starfruit is ready to preserve the tiles for fall. That is a very, very good idea. In fact, it's such a good idea, I think I should just go buy the wheat seeds right now. I'm already out and about. I might as well just go get them ready. It'll save us a lot of a lot of turmoil in the uh, heading into fall here. So we can fill. Oh shoot! It was 138 seeds, right? 138 seeds. think. Yeah, tomorrow's sprinkler day, too. We'll get our last sprinkler that we're going to need for the foreseeable future, unless we invest in a slime hutch, in which case I'll also want a sprinkler for that, to fill up that water trough, but slime hutch is a little bit on the back burner right now. Malehu, I'm probably streaming for another hour and 15 minutes at least. It's I'm, I'm cutting down to shorter streams lately so I can have more time to focus on some other pursuits. But we might go a little longer than that. Who knows? I have one extra wheat seed just in case. That, I think that's for Ginger Island, actually. Leave that all in there for right now, though. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think we're pretty well set up. We got the deluxe barn ready to go. Once that deluxe barn is built, we will fill it up with all the cows and stuff that we need. Let's go to sleep for tonight. We watered our starfruit. Oh, did I get my mushrooms? <laughs> I'm going to get in the rhythm of this eventually. But until I do, it's going to be a little bit touch and go. I don't remember if I got my mushrooms or not, though. Longer would be good. You really need a distraction. Can we get some uh, heart emojis from Malehu? I hope you're doing well. I don't know what you need a distraction from necessarily, but uh, rest assured, you got lots of friends around here. I appreciate you being part of the community, and I'm happy to provide whatever distraction you need. Take care. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and just lock in the day here. Ooh, nice rainy day, too. We don't even have to worry about watering our star fruit today. That's very, very nice. It was a dark and stormy night when we finally picked up our 10th Iridium Sprinkler. Oh, baby! I did just kind of leave this well here, didn't I, as well? Just like, <laughs> it's just kind of chilling there. I, I only put it there temporarily originally, but it's just kind of, that's, I guess, its new home now. It fits in strangely nicely. Shipping bin near the mushroom cave would be nice. I'm not allowed to ship mushrooms, though, is the problem. So it would just be counterproductive. It would be a temptation that I would not be able to resist. I'd be like, oh, I just want to ship these. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to ship them all. The only mushroom I can ship is magma caps right now, which is uh, not helpful for that. No worries, Malehu. No worries. Lurk away. All right. There we go. Final Iridium Sprinkler. Thank you, Krobus. I'm never going to talk to you ever again. Just kidding. We'll be, we'll be back when we need to befriend that guy, and probably for other things as well, but... <laughs> for the time being, we're going to go ahead and let that friendship slip by the wayside. That quarter of a heart is just going to gonna shrink and shrink and shrink. Shipping been near the sprinkler zone? We could do that, I guess, for, like, eggplants and stuff. But I don't think it's such a pressing concern that it needs its own whole shipping bin just yet. Eventually, maybe. But for right now, nah. Alright. 
All right, here we go. Let's set up the final piece of our puzzle. It's beautiful. It only took us nine years to get here, but we now have a fully automatic farming setup. We just have to come and plant the... We have to come and plant the actual seeds every now and again, but... Other than that, we're we're set up. We got sprinklers, we got junimos. We're we're in a great spot here. Oh man! All right, that last sprinkler. I didn't realize how like cathartic it would feel to place that last sprinkler. I think I figured it would just be like you know, place the sprinkler and be done with it. No, that was uh, that that felt good, dude. Holy moly! Do we have any ancient seeds yet? We don't have ancient seeds on hand just yet. I don't think we do have some ancient fruit. Oh, it, it, yeah, we had some. Yeah, 29 ancient fruit in here. I'm not going to worry about it for right now. Maybe we'll get our seed maker working on that in time for spring of next year. Because I feel like planting... Like, there's, there's no, no point in planting ancient fruit right now. Because it would just... It would only be ready for, like, one harvest. Okay. Um, what's next? I need to get some copper. I know this seems like a strange tangent, but we do need some copper for our silo. I want to build at least one more silo, maybe two. We have four buildings. Is it? Does it make sense to have four silos for four buildings, or should we only need three? I think, you know, having more silos, it can't be that. It can't be a bad thing, so why don't we just go ahead and get 10 copper. So we got one here, so we need 45 more copper ore. Let's go get it. Well, 43 more copper in addition to the two that we have, so we'll go buy 43 copper real quick. Yo, Eid de, Be Eid de Beer. Thank you very much for, uh, for your kind words and for watching through the price of perfection. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm glad glad you were able to stop in and say hello. Hope you continue to enjoy that series. This was a lot of fun to produce. As is this one, and I hope you enjoy uh, the content coming forward. Where is Iota? This is what I'm out here looking for my horse. Like a like a needle in a dang haystack. Iota. Iota I don't see a single Iota of Iota. What the heck is going on here? That's all right. I guess I'll just walk. I'll just walk to the minecart. <laughs> it's not that far after all. You do not own a horse, Rip. All right, into town. We've already got the coal, so we really just need to invest in the copper here. So we need forty-three. In addition to what we already have at home. Okay. Good to go, good to go. Now we will use our single little sprinkler. Staying dry as best I can, girl, as best I can. Use our single... Did I say sprinkler? I meant furnace. We'll use our single furnace in order to facilitate this. And then we'll have our silos... We just got we got a lot we got a lot on the go right now. Many irons in the fire right now. That's okay. I have a feeling that by the end of this stream, other than our banana sapling prospects, maybe, I think we'll be in a great spot. For right now, we got we got the sprinkler, we got the deluxe barn is being built. I think on the will it be will it be ready by tomorrow? I don't know. We'll go find let's go find out. Little Celeste music, baby. All right. Smelting. Put this away. That away for right now as well. We got fruit trees today. We got mushrooms today. We got battery packs today. Holy moly! It's so much, dude. There's so there's so many little chores. It does add up. You get out of here. All right, oranges, little peaches, a little bit of peaches in my life. Tomorrow's our star fruit harvest day. You're not wrong. We got to go plant our wheat after that. I 
finally feel productive. <laughs> After so much time spent sleeping, and, and rest assured, there's plenty more sleeping to be had in our future. Feeling remarkably productive all of a sudden. Alright, got our mushrooms there. I want to go check on our barn status. I want to see if our deluxe barn is fully built. In which case, I can go ahead and get a silo started maybe today. As well as fill up the rest of that deluxe barn if Marnie is available. You did so many chores, you're debating doing more chores or, doing, or taking a nap. Only you can answer that question for you, but if you've already done plenty of chores, then I don't see what a little nap could hurt. Oh! <sighs> no! We'll drive by pet. Alright, well, we'll have to reset this day, but it looks like our deluxe barn is maybe done? Question mark? Yeah, alright, the deluxe barn is ready. Who are you? Wait, who? I need to know who is the offending cow. Are you still here? Cosine, cosine. I can't. I can't be too mad at cosine. Cosine just wanted a little pet. Who, who amongst us can say we haven't wanted to be petted once or twice in our lives, right? It's all good. We didn't have too much stake in that day. In that day, just yet, anyway. So I'm not super stressed about it. Cosine took you on a tangent. Accurate. Very accurate. Put that away. That away as well. And at least now I don't have to worry about going down there and accidentally petting an animal. I'll just I'll just go and fill up the coop. Sorry, fill up the barn. And before we know it, we're going to have a nice full suite. Two barns, two coops, chock full of the animals. Very happily producing iridium quality eggs and milk. And we're going to be rolling in money before, before too long. Chat, we're not going below a million ever again. Until we buy the gold clock, but you know that's that's far enough in the future. I'm not going to concern myself with it. But that's my goal. That's my promise to you right now. We're never going below a million dollars ever again. Should be easily achieved, you would think. All right, let's take a bit of a circuitous route here to get to Marnie, rather than trying to navigate the minefield of debris that we've found ourselves living in. Am I getting a ton of pigs, too? Pigs would be a great play, and I'll need to get pigs eventually, but for right now, it's just... There's nothing we can do with pigs. We can't pick up the truffles without getting foraging experience, so there's not much of a point to having them other than that we can tell Vincent that, yes, we do, in fact, have piggies on our farm when he calls. Eventually, though. Eventually, pigs will be on the, on the schedule. I was going to say pigs will be on the menu, but that ins that kind of implies the wrong thing. Yeah, pigs are just kind of a money sink right now. All right, what do we got? Purchase more dairy cows, please. More dairy cows. Choose a barn for your new brown cow. Tra Bell. How about Bell Curve? Am I right? These are mathematical concepts. These are no longer elements. Purchase animals. Quadratic. Choose a barn for your new white cow. Truma. More like uh, Fibonacci. Send a little Fibonacci to her new home right away. Perfect, perfect. Keep it going, keep it rolling. 
variants. Euler for the win. I think we already named one Euler. Nalbert? More like... Um... Probabilitor? <laughs> Look, I, I can see you're in love with the name there, Pada. I'll do this one just for you. Probabilitor. Just fits. All right. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. You do have to go back to your roots sometimes. This cow is going to be named X, because you're always trying to look for the variable X. Math tests will be, really be like, find X, and I'll just circle it on my page, and my teacher will give me an F. I found X. It's right there. It's the easiest question of my life. Peter Parker. Ramanujan. Ramanujan. I'll take it. Fermat? Didn't we do Fermoot? Meek? I kind of like that name, but... You're gonna be, uh... Obtuse? As in obtuse triangles? Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. This cow is gonna be called... Megalovania? It's a mathematical concept, trust me. Trust me, chat. Doesn't it sound very mathematical? It sounds so mathmat- You don't need to look it up, prom I promise. Alright, this one is gonna be Rhombus. That works for me. Rhombus. I think we're, I think we're probably closing in on our final cows here. Anti-differential. Oh, we're, that building is full. Holy moly, look at all our, all of our freaking animals, dude. <laughs> this isn't even all of them. Alright. The buildings are all chock full now. Thank you, Marnie, for your service. Never gonna see her again. Obtuse is the dumb one. <laughs> No, all our cows are very intelligent and amazing creatures. What the heck happened to my music? You got you got spooky all of a sudden? Get my spooky music out of here. What the heck? Have a good one there, purple. Hope the headache disappears promptly for you. All right. Get one more copper bar here, and then we'll be in a good spot to... Did I not buy enough copper? No, I did. I did. I'm, I'm just not doing math right. We'll wait for this one to smelt, and then we'll be able to go build another silo. Perfect. Okay. Give me that. What else do you need for a silo? Is it just... There's wood, and there's something else. Is it wood and stone? Is it just the, is it is it just no it's clay it's clay it's wood clay and copper copper clay wood no stone even though they appear to be made of stones wait is it stone chat is it stone or is it wood it's probably stone actually now that I'm thinking about it yeah this makes this this seems right this looks like the correct permutation Chad, did you ever have a segment in math class, like a like a module, that was like combinatorics? I vaguely remember combinatorics or, or like permutations and stuff, but I've never even like heard of them ever mentioned by anyone else since that like fateful time in grade ten math. And I'm like, what the? Am I ever going to use that again? It's stuck in my brain. I don't really remember how to do any of it, but I definitely remember the word combinatorics because it was very particular. I was like, ooh, I like that word. Uh, 
useful for figuring out things in games, actually. That makes sense, actually. That, 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 that does make sense. This is going to be a little cursed. We're going to have to go one off thanks to this. <laughs> thanks to that sea urchin. That's fine. Like 10 pick four order matters. Yeah, exactly. Was that a module that like everyone had in math class? Or was that just like a, a weird thing that, that we encountered? Didn't learn about it in school. Learned about it from Square One TV. They're the bane of your existence as an engineering student. I, I kind of want to learn about them again, because I remember honestly having a lot of fun with them. I feel like that was around the time when we were learning about combinatorics that my love of math really started to cement itself. I was like, ooh, I really like this. And I was like, good at it too. I remember, chat, I'm... You're going to think I'm so nerdy for this, and this is kind of embarrassing, but there was, I remember one time, specifically this was during that combinatorics period of math, and I was, like, feeling, I was, like, in a flow state, and I was, like, so proud of myself. I was, like, one of the smarter kids in the class, and we had, like, a test or, like, some worksheet or something. I think it was a worksheet, not a test, and, like, our teacher was, like, all right, everyone finish the worksheet, and, uh, and... Bring it up to me as soon as you're done. And I was like, yeah, no problem. I go, I look at it. There's like, it's like 30 questions on this worksheet. I just start firing through them. And I'm like, I want to be the first one to finish this worksheet. I was, I was that kid. I was going to be the teacher's pet. I was going to be, I was going to go like lightning fast, finish this in five minutes and get up to the front of the class as fast as possible and get like a hundred percent too. I was like, I was so in the zone and I speed through the worksheet, I get pretty much all of it done, I'm confident with it. I look up, and I see, from across the classroom, my arch rival, another student who's also very intelligent. He is just putting his pencil down, and he's about to get up. And I get up at the exact same time. We lock eyes from across the, across the classroom, and... We're both roughly in the same row of desks, and we start speed walking. I start speed walking a little faster. He kind of outpaces me a little bit, and we're just like, we're like beelining. We're making a pincer attack for the front of the class. And I don't remember. I honestly don't. I think he got there slightly before me, but we both like slammed them down, and our teacher is like, kind of like jumps back. And I was like, oh. And then he's like, oh, thank you both for that. You can go take your seats again. And it was like, and then it was very anticlimactic at that point. But it felt so intense in the moment. It felt so intense that I had to stop to tell that story. It was so dramatic. <laughs> and that student's name was Elon Musk. I'm kidding. But... <laughs> I don't know what ever happened to that guy. I think he's, uh, I think he's doing well now. Not Elon Musk, but, like, that student. Alright, I think I got so sidetracked by that story, what am I even doing anymore? The silo is being built. We'll smelt up the rest of the copper for it. Tomorrow is the final day of summer, so it'll be our harvest. Then we'll go plant more wheat. Yeah, I like where we're at. Go to sleep for the night. I think we are good to lock it in. Sleep with this nice copper ore dancing atop my head like a sugar plum fairy. Perfect. All right. Let me go grab my wheat seeds just to get them ready. Um. Oh, hold on, hold on. Where is it? Do I have? Do I have any farming boosting foods? Do I have any farming boosting foods? Hash rounds I have to keep. I don't think we have any farm buff foods right now, so we can't work we can't boost the quality of our food, unfortunately. Dance the Moonlight Jellies tonight though, that's very imp very important. I don't know if we're actually gonna go see the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies tonight. I, it depends on how long we stay out today, but it's at least very important for us so that it doesn't rain today, because if, if it were raining today, then our whole plan would be foiled right now. Fo foiled like you're solving a quadratic equation in math. 
do. Get these get these fibers. I just want to get Iota down to the field proper, okay? Is that so much to ask? Is that so much to ask? Yeah, I certainly hope Starfruit is ready today, because if not, then we've uh, we've we bungled something pretty severely. <laughs> but it should be ready. It should be ready. Yo, they're going! Look at the Junimos. Such hard little workers. And we have double the Junimo workforce now. So good. Look at them go. Oh, baby. We, we got a silver one. I'll take it. You know what? For no for level zero farming, any quality is good quality. I love when they stop and, like, wave at the camera. It's like they're waving at me, the player. I'm like, oh my gosh, these Junimos are too cute for, for life. Literally same. I can't get over how cute Junimos are. All right, we can start planting the wheat seeds. I just don't want to plant them too... I don't want to be, like, too close to the star fruit while I'm planting them. Also, I just realized, do we even need to really preserve these spots? This is, like, speed grow. I guess, like, speed grow is... I mean, I would rather have fertilizer in these spots, but speed grow is not the worst thing either, I suppose. All right, you can just bogart the spots for a little bit. I, I'm not going to harsh your vibe, little Junimo buddy. It's rain protection. Yeah, it, like, it, this does help to preserve our, not only, like, the speed grow and stuff, but also the, just, like, the tiles themselves between seasons. That much I can't be upset about. But part of me wishes these were fertilized differently. Top left, that's my lucky spot. Alright, am I missing a spot? I am right in front of the Junimo hut right here. It's okay, I'll wait. There you go, thank you, thank you. Okay. And that's it, because we have one extra for, uh, that was in our chest already. Perfect. Yeah, we don't have to worry about hoeing any tiles. Very, very nice. It will mean that the first few days of, of fall are taken up by wheat production rather than anything else. But I guess that's fine. Maybe it'll just take, like, three days instead of four with the speed grow. Extra hay. You know what? Extra hay is not something that I ever even uh, considered about it, but yeah. You do get a little extra hay out of the... out of the weed as well. We could mine the wheat, but that would just be, like, a waste. <laughs> like, we can still make money off the wheat, just not that, just not that much money. Wonder whether we'll get hay with the Junimos. Oh, that's a good point, actually. I don't know. <laughs> I have no earthly idea. Our shop's open today, even though it's the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies, because I could take the opportunity to at least go sell some stuff and make back some money. I think because it's a nighttime festival, shops will still be open, right? We can certainly go find out. Probably should have emptied my inventory a little bit because I want to get some. Wouldn't be a good. Wouldn't be a bad idea to take some animal products as well. Seventy-one star fruit. Seventy-two star fruit. All the star fruit. One hundred thirty-eight star fruit. I don't need to save anything for anything. I don't. Th I don't think. I guess I should save some for actual like shipping. Say, like, one. Should be ready Wednesday, thank you. Is there anything else I want to sell here? I guess I'll sell these strawberries as well. Just the gold star ones, at least. I'll leave the rest for the time being, because these, these slots are probably better taken by animal produce anyway. One for Kent's quest, true. Very true. Uh, 
Hold on, I just gotta navigate. I maybe maybe I should put some chairs on the on the side of the fence there as well, in order so I can get in from that part. Hold on, pardon me. Excuse me, friends. Excuse me. Just need to check your produce here. 70 iridium milk, 20 ir 26 iridium goat's milk. We'll start with that. Can't sell it until Thursday. Can't sell what till Thursday. Oh, the wheat, maybe? Oh, the wheat, yeah, okay. If it's ready on Wednesday, we can't sell till Thursday. Yeah, I know that's a, that's a valid point. Very, very valid. Alright. Excuse me, pardon me. Better dressed purple queen coming through. Alright. Holy moly, 100,000. I'll take it. Sell, 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 sell. Chat, we're already up to 1.5 million. We're gonna be, we're gonna have the golden clock like tomorrow. What the heck? We're cracked. It's all coming together, baby. Set the genomos not to harvest on Wednesday. But why? Because I could harvest it and then still plant the other seeds that I need to plant, and we'll be one ahead. Net gain of negative 300,000. Let's go, chat! Chat, we're up. We're up for our negative 400,000, down to negative 300,000. Yes! We're killing it. And just in time to celebrate a little bit of B-songs. Oh, baby. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. I'm dancing around my living room like it's nobody's business because I'm so happy. What a productive summer it has been. We've earned this bee dance party. Where's, where's my dance emoji? Dance emoji. Dance for me, baby! It's not the right one. There we go. Perfect. Five out. It's so loud, dude. <laughs> I love how loud this song is. It just, like, it stunlocks me into just, like, wanting to do nothing else but celebrate bees. And really, should we have it any other way? Alright, we got the mushrooms. I should, I guess, get the fruit trees, because the fruit trees will be done for the season today. Loud as it should be. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you over all these bees in my ear. So much buzzing going on, dude. Bees do need to be celebrated. I'm fully with you on that. Let's sell like all of this iridium quality fruit as well. You know what? We got we got fruit just burning a hole in my pocket right now. I'm gonna sell all this except for the cherries. Still got time to make it over to Pierre, why not? Flight of the Zinger is one of your favorite DKC2 songs. Donkey Kong Country 2. It's the absolute opposite energy. Excuse me, pardon me. Sorry, I just need... Can we get through? Thank you. Oh my gosh, that was so awkward. All right. Sell, 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 sell. Per perfect. Another 15,000 in the bank. Every little bit counts. In the beginning of the stream, it seemed to me that you used a mouse button to throw things in the garbage. What is it, or is it a mod thing? So, like, if you, like, hold something up like this... Also, thank you, by the way, Master Magikarp. For, uh, for your kind words. If you hold something up like this and you hit the delete key on your keyboard, then it should just throw it in the garbage. That is the, that's the hot key that I use. I don't know if that's what you're referring to or if something else, but it is, uh, that's the way it goes for me. All right. I mean, we're already late enough in the day, honestly. I kinda just wanna chill out. Just chill out 
we're, we're close enough to being able to enjoy, enjoy the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies once again for the first time in a while. We can get some seafoam pudding as well at the festival, lest we forget. I'm willing to just wait it out, I think. Let's go, like, hang out with, with our friends or something. Is that what, like, normal people do? They, like, hang out with their friends when they're not working? Like, what's Sam up to right now? I, sh I do have to go apologize for missing Sam's birthday, so, like, why not? Sam's off to the saloon. Respect. My friends with Gus, not yet, but our day will come. We'll give them lots of oranges, don't you worry. Yeah, that's the plan, to buy some seeds tomorrow, so that we're ready to go. Sam is not here. Makes sense. Why would he want to be hanging out with his parents? He doesn't seem like that kind of guy. He seems like a rebellious sort of fella. Where is he, though? Chat, where's Sam? Is Sam at work? Maybe he's not rebellious. Maybe he's just working. <laughs> it's Sunday, though. He wouldn't work on a Sunday, surely, right? He's probably at the beach. He's not allowed. They're setting up the festival down there. Canola oil, by the way. Where's my stomach bag at? Hot sauce. Vacuum sealed marinated mushrooms. Pasta in a can. It's around here somewhere. Canned meals. Canned fish now with teeth whitening sauce. Powdered wine. Classic. Powdered breakfast. Just add water. Low fat beans. I, where's the stomach bag? Did we just make up stomach bag? Extreme chips with inferno sauce. Carbo cones. Tasty little cone shaped snacks. That will fill your stomach bag. Perfect. <laughs> uh, there's no way I could have just in imagined something as cursed as a stomach bag, right? Yeah, I guess Sam's probably either at the beach or he's at the saloon. Well, maybe he's at, even at home now. He hasn't been wandering around for a while. I think I can still... Oh, he is over there. How you doing, Samuel? Samson? Samsonite? Whenever you see hot air balloons drifting over the sea, you'll know it's summer. the summer's in full swing. My dude, it's the last day of summer. <laughs> a little late to be talking about that one, don't you think? I'm gonna go hang out with his family. Chad, is this awkward? Am I being awkward right now if I just walk in? Like, hey, I'm, fr I'm good friends with your son. I'm just gonna wait here for a while, if you don't mind. We're gonna go to the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies together. No, not that son, like your other son. If I was friends, if I was waiting for Vincent, this would be a little creepy. Hey, what's playing on the radio? It's set to the news station. Boring. You guys are so boring. It's unbelievable. I'm not good enough friends with Vincent to enter his room, but I'm good enough friends with his brother. Don't look in there. Bunch of extra strong hair gel. Want to play a little bit of. Solarian Chronicles? Solarian Chronicles PC Edition? There's two buds hanging out. Uh, chat, don't, don't be weird about it, Sam. Chat. Why is he Why is he going to sleep? He's, we're going to the festival. But we're, we have to leave for the festival, like, right now. Sam. Wake up. Wake up, you nerd. Wake up. We're going to the festival. Come on! <laughs> Why are you being such a stick in the mud? This guy- Oh, this guy is so- Oh my gosh. Why am I friends with this guy again? Bruh. Having a nap before the festival? But we were like hanging out, and then he was just like, I'm gonna take a nap? I'm- I mean, we were supposed to be hanging out right now, dude. I spent all this time looking for you and waiting around for you, and then you're just like, Nah. I'm gonna nap instead? I want- we could have ridden together on Iota. Why are you in his bed? We're just that good of friends. Quick pay a visit to Pierre here. Thank you for the seafoam pudding restock, sir. 
See you next year. Chump. All right, where is Sam hiding at? Because I know he's... Don't, okay, he's over there. He's over there. I was going to say, if he slept through this festival, my guy. My guy. Wonder if they're poisonous? Maybe I shouldn't push Sebastian into the water after all? Who's Sebastian? Pam's got to be hiding around here somewhere as well. I don't know where Pam is on the feast at the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. Not here. Did she go all the way across to the other side? Is she up here? There she is. Don't tell Gus, but I'm a little disappointed there's no buffet tonight. You want my seafoam pudding? I don't mind sharing a little bit. I just need I just need enough for the buff. Alright. And as is tradition, pause the music real quick. Because we gotta get of course. The in-game music on this one. As always. Nice little capstone to summer we got here. And some exclamation point jellies in chat. We skipped this festival last year, right? So I think we've probably, like, forsook the green... The rare green jelly. We've seen it so many times now, it was probably disappointed not to see us last year. So I don't think it's going to come back this year. I think we've finally run out of luck for the rare green moonlight jelly. No one thought it would ever happen, but I think it's finally... I don't think we're going to see it this year, chat. I don't think there's any chance. Lots of nice, just normal Moonlight Jellies. Might, be, might, might, might see a baby or two. There's the babies. Yo, you love to see it. It's so rare. It's so unbelievably rare in the fact. Oh my god, chat. Ch You're gonna think I'm hacking. You're gonna think I'm hacking. How? There's no way this rare green Moonlight Jelly should even be here right now. We shouldn't even be in the same zip code as this thing. What the heck? How do we get to this lucky? All my luck in this game is just poured into this one event. I swear. This is absolutely ridiculous. Rare green moonlight jelly. Is it actually rare? You feel like you get it every time? It's a 1 in 10,000 chance. It's absolutely... It's, it's insanely rare. and we But we do... We hit it just about every time. You're reporting me? Reporting me to who? The, the nerd police? Because that's... You should, because I'm a nerd. I don't know where I was going with that one. <laughs> Alright, seafoam pudding? We still have some of this left, right? Where do I keep it? Probably over here. Well, let me just get my my music all set back up here again. Last little swing. Getting owl of statues about every two years, so my event luck is pretty good. That's what I'm saying. The events they they love me. They love me so much. All right, I think we're good to go, right? We're good to. I mean, if we're not good to go, then there's nothing much I can do about it at this point, I suppose. So let's just go ahead and end off the day here. Pet pie. And see what fall's all about. 25 gold from a rusty spoon. Every little bit counts. Alright. So we are going to go to Ginger Island in the fall here. That is part of our big plan for sure. Well, also, I, I, I wanted to check this. Is the debris going to spread? Is, is there going to be like a bunch of debris that spawns in my little fenced off area here? With the start of a new season? Because I know debris does here at the start of a new season. But I think because we cleared out all the debris prior that we're actually okay here. We're actually like totally fine. Alright. Everything's going according to plan so far. 
little bit of debris here and there, but as long as it's outside the realm of that fence, I think we're doing okay. What are the cairns for? They are to prevent the animals from eating that grass so that the grass can continue to spread without the animals actually eating all of it. That's why we put some grass under the fence as well as under those stone cairns. Fence is no longer invisible. Part of me was wondering whether the bonsai trees would change color with the fall, but is not the case. There are some plants that would change color with the fall, or would at least change, like, type with the fall, I think, but we didn't use those. Green fence outline looks kind of cute. Now it's definitely a different vibe. I'm still, I'm still loving it. All right. Pop all that away. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go buy some seeds, I think. It's our next order of business here. We'll get the seeds, and then we'll wait until the wheat has been grown. We'll plant all the seeds, and we'll be... Be in good shape to go to Ginger Island, I think, for a little while. I think our farm is pretty self-sustaining once we actually get the, the new seeds planted. I'd like to put a gold bar under my pillow. Please deliver it sometime today. I don't know if I have any gold ore at home, but that could be a quick 750 gold if I do. What? Do you guys see that? <laughs> X-Files music plays. X-Files music intensifies? What the heck? Is Iota a ghost horse? I guess no one ever acknowledges Iota's presence other than me. You never see anyone interact with Iota. Chat, is your horse real in Stardew Valley? Someone get map pad on this. All right. What are we buying today? Eggplant seeds? Cranberry seeds. I mean, the cranberry seeds are the smart play because we can sell, they're like profitable. Eggplant seeds though. Hear me out, eggplant seeds, we can ship them. <laughs> Iota is a Thestral. We could go half and half. Or we could go, you know, I mean, we should, probably should go mostly cranberry seeds if we're really realistically looking to get the gold clock. Is there anything else here even worth consideration? Eggplant for shipping, cranberry for moolah. I mean, eggplants, are, we, gotta, we gotta have some eggplants for sure. Chat, I'm crazy, I'm gonna go half and half. <laughs> I just I just like the idea, you know, we have, we, I can't turn my back on the eggplant. It's our first crop that we're actually allowed to ship. When else are we gonna get a chance to do this? So 138 divided by two is 69. Um, So 69... <laughs> <laughs> am I really about to buy 69 eggplant seeds? Yes, I am. Alright. <laughs> and 69 cranberry seeds. It was meant to be. But pumpkins, though? I like the regrowable co crops right now because then I don't have to worry about them as much. I should have probably gone pumpkins. I mean, we'll, we'll invest in the future. Right now, we're just kind of having fun with it. There, we will probably get to a point where we're like, all right, let's put the pedals in the metal, pull out all the nonsense, and just make money. Like like Lalo said and Better Call Saul, just make money. But for now, I'm having fun. I'm having fun telling Beatrix's story. I got some eggplant emojis in chat, by the way. Eggplant emojis. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and leave these seeds right here for now. And then we will be back once the wheat has grown. You said not to do that? I say a lot of things on this stream. All right, um, I think we're good to just sleep a couple days to get our wheat ready to go. 
and then we will let the Junimos harvest that. I am curious to see whether... Oh, actually, is my silo ready yet? No, it'll probably be ready tomorrow. And then tomorrow we can build our next silo, and then we can harvest our wheat. Okay, 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 okay. Those are cranberries. I like the creativity, Colleen. Oh, shoot, I forgot my, uh, my mushrooms yesterday. That's okay. Forgetting mushrooms is not the biggest deal in the world, because they're not, like, the most profitable thing, but every little piece of profit we can get is going to be helpful. Speaking of which, we should keep an eye on our greenhouse. I know the fruit trees are not going to be ready yet, but it's something that just keep in the back, back of our mind that the greenhouse will be a priority eventually. I guess we can always move the greenhouse around, too. Alright, silo is built, right? Silo is built. Let's go grab the ingredients for a new silo, see if we can catch Robin around the 930 mark, and uh, go from there. Every building is three days. Incorrect. You could build a shipping bin faster than that. Question is, do you count a shipping bin as a farm building? I personally do. I just want to go enjoy the presence of my animals a little bit. See what the heck's going on down here. It's so nice. One little dino. Some void chickens. I'm pretty happy with how all this turned out. All things told. I wasn't sure how this uh, how this animal endeavor was going to go. We'll see how fast they eat through all the grass and how often I have to like buy more grass starters and stuff, but as it is right now, I'm feeling pretty good about it. All right, I should probably head up to Robin's. Uh, okay. It's okay. I can I can make it through. I can make it through. I can I can, I can make it through. It's okay. Just a little zigzag tech. Zigzag, zigzag. Serpentine! Serpentine! Still planning on a slime hutch? That is probably our next order of business after the silo. Is a slime hutch. As far as farm buildings go, anyway. My next, The next plan I have is to actually head to Ginger Island to do some stuff, but as far as farm buildings go, that would be the... the slimy icing on our cobblestone cake. All buildings are three days except for cabins and shipping bins. What about uh, the gold clock? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm catching in all kinds of edge cases here. Tree, tree domey? We're not allowed to... We are technically allowed to break rocks on our farm. We're just not allowed to uh, level up in mining without that being our goal in the randomizer. And since we get mining experience for breaking those rocks... I'm sure you can put two and two together. All right, silo it up, baby. You know what? Paint buildings. It's a new age for fractured farm. We need to we need to paint it. Select a building to paint. This building cannot be painted. I can't paint my farmhouse. Oh, probably not until it's uh, max upgraded, right? Let's paint this. Can I paint this building? Nope. Okay. Can I paint my barn? All right, this barn. So build. We got building, roof, and trim. Okay. What if we go? Nice little blue. Sort of, sort of a light bluish hue. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Now we go. Roof is gonna be like the most intense red you've ever seen. I want. No, we're gonna actually pink roof. Pink roof. Purple roof. Hold on a minute. Hold on a second here. Chat. No, I think red, actually. You know what? Red. Red. And then we go... What if we go trim? We do a yellow trim. <laughs> it's the greatest farm. It's the greatest palette I've ever seen, chat. 
This is- what do you mean? What do you mean this is horrific? <laughs> what is the- what's the problem with this? What if we- what if we- what if we do this? What if we do hot pink farm? Hot pink farm building? Oh, baby! It's perfect. It's beautiful. It's so good. <laughs> Okay, no, we can, we can, okay, chat. All right, I am memeing a little bit. I'm me, I'm memeing just a little bit. Let's make an actually aesthetically pleasing one, all right? Let's make, let's make something aesthetically pleasing. How do you feel about this? Give it that a little, give, give our farm a little film noir aesthetic. Yes, good. Save the color by clicking the dotted square. Boring. How about... Hold on a second, I can do this. I can do this. Maybe, maybe that's not... Maybe, hold on. Building, you should... This building... How do I get... Chat, there's no way to, like, make it, like, white. What's the closest we can get to white? Like, yellow? <laughs> I wanted to do, like, a, like, I wanted to do something white. But there's no way to do that, is there? Ooh, that's spooky. Second line, farthest right. Second, second line farthest right. We can't get white. Chat, we can't get white. Can't get white. We could go prismatic. Ooh. Ooh, hold on a minute. Dark indigo? I kind of like the indigo barn, dude. Little indigo. With maybe a purplish roof. I don't know how I feel about this yet. With a trim. What if we do the orange trim, dude? That's, that's so bad. Alright, hold on a second, though. I don't know, this is worse than the original? What are you talking about? A little less saturated blue? This is what the people are here for. A little less saturated blue. Oh, we could go like a, there's like a brown there. Ooh, that's kind of nice actually, hold on. Hold on a minute, I'm kind of, I'm kind of falling back into the rustic farm aesthetic. Hold on a second. What if we go, like, kind of... Chat, I'm just recreating the normal farm now. No, this is, this is not right. Now it's just, like, a normal barn. With a purple door. <laughs> Chad, I'm, I'm locking it in. We're going with this for right now, because I don't want to spend too much more time on this. I could get lost in this forever. Copy it. Wait, can I copy the style? Can I copy the whole thing? Copy. Hello? Copy. Copy. Building. Roof. Oh, I, I see what I did. Purple door. All right. Lock it in, baby. <laughs> it's perfect. You might be like, why the purple door? Why not the purple door? You gotta do it to all of them. Per oh my gosh. <laughs> it's, it's horrible. It's alright. Chat will fix it later, but for right now, let me have my fun. 
that's so good. <laughs> it's not that bad. Chad, this is not that bad. On a scale of 0 to 100, 0 being the worst aesthetic you've ever seen in any Stardew farm ever, 100 being the best. Can you please rate my rate my color palette choice? Switch trim and roof. Can I paint this? I can paint it. Thirty-one, one point four, forty-seven, three, sixty, twelve, seventy-nine, thirty-five, three, two. You tried. <laughs> you tried out of ten. Can I paint? What can? I, what else can I paint? Can I paint my obelisk? Can I paint my well? I can't paint anything. Wait, silos? Can I paint the silos? No. No, you cannot paint the silos. This building cannot be painted. Rip to a legend. Looks like a failed TikTok DIY. Alright. Good enough for me. What was I here to do? I'm here to build a silo. <laughs> I forgot. I forgore my silo. We can also move the silo like one over. Actually, I guess I can't do that anymore because now. Yeah, she only lets me do that. Okay, fair enough. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay, chat. I'll work. I'll workshop it between streams, and I'll come back with a color palette that blows your socks off. Make sure you're wearing socks to the next stream because they're going to be blown. All right, promise me that. Do you promise, chat? It's starting to grow on you a tiny bit. Some, I like the purple, dude. I think the purple makes everything pop just a little bit more. Wear your shark socks. Do they have fins? Lisa, good to see you. We're gonna be wrapping up pretty soon, but it's good to good. Happy you were able to make it for a little bit, though. All right, um, that's the silo being built. All right, silos being built, buildings are ready to go. We're just waiting on our wheat, which I think will be ready tomorrow, according to according to chat. Then we'll be able to plant all our new seeds for fall and head off to Ginger Island. That's your secret. You're always wearing socks, really, even in the shower. That's like impressive commitment to the to the sock grinder, Meister. Where else would you wash them? A valid point, actually. If you're always wearing them, you, ha you still have to wash them somehow. And I mean, the shower, it's got to be where it's at. What the heck is this sound? Chat, what's that sound? Is my Junimos! They're harvesting wheat! <laughs> hold on! Hold on, I'm coming! I'm like, what the heck is this? That's not the sound of Robin building a silo, is it? The Junimos... They're harvesting so loud! <laughs> I could hear it from clean across the farm! Holy... Are we getting hay out of this? We are getting hay. You love to see it. Junimo holding a scythe would be so funny. Look at them go, dude. Look at them go. They're a little slower than I would be on the harvest, but you gotta you gotta pay some cost for the convenience of this, right? Go get your seeds. Got them. Done. What next? Alright, we're gonna start on this end here. Do a little half and half. Eggplant farm, let's go. <laughs> no one in the history of Stardew has ever committed so hard to the eggplants.
Why do I feel like eggplants are going to be like one of the, like the least profitable crops of all time too? <laughs> they were only, it was only 20 gold per seed. It was a bargain. I was losing money not buying the eggplant seeds. I just need to wait for this guy to finish his little dance. He's blessing the spot very prodigiously. Thank you, sir. Okay, perfect. I'm going as half. I'm try. I'm gonna try and make this as symmetrical as I possibly can, but given the sort of helter skelter layout of these farm sp spots, I don't know how realistic it is. It's okay, I wasn't using that spot anyway. I got five more. All right, so we'll we'll go top down here. Two, three, four, five, and then the rest are cranberries. It's also useful for a recipe or two. I know we can make eggplant parmesan, and we can make something else with eggplants. I don't know how much we're going to be needing, like, this many eggplants, but... <laughs> there we go. Alright, perfect. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Ah, oh, survival burgers, you're right. All right, chat. Is it finally time? Our seeds are in the ground. Our animals are all petted and grabbered. There's a how chat. Who let this mushroom tree sneak into my hardwood farm? What the heck is going on here? Chat, who planted this mushroom tree here? I guess I'm not that upset about it. I can get some mushrooms when I bomb it next time, but... Can I get a mushroom hat by blowing one up? I don't know. I assume you can. Oh, there's a stump there. I thought it was another sapling. <laughs> the Junimos. All right. Animals, I bid you a fond farewell. Same with you, Junimos. Take care of the farm in my stead. Pie, wherever you might be. I guess I'm going to have to say goodbye to Iota for a little while as well. Iota, Pie, behave. They're not going to behave. When, when the boss is out of town, when Beatrix is out of town, that's when the partying starts. It's like that it's like that movie like what pets do when you're not home or whatever it is yeah we're headed to ginger island baby what do i need to bring to ginger island i'm gonna need more cherries obviously obvi secret life of pets yeah that's the one okay Bring some life elixirs. Bring our salads. Need the watering can? I mean, I guess I might as well just bring my tools. Can I bring my fridge? Do I, or is there a fridge on our, in our Ginger Island house? Bomb, a slingshot. I should bring the... I, I'll bring some bombs. Be on the safe side. Cherry bombs. I know I need at least one to free Professor Snail. There is a fridge at the Ginger Island house. Okay. Sword for defense. You're absolutely correct. Sword. You know, I probably don't need to bring a scythe. I can just bring a sword for defense. Do I need the... The hoe for, is good for artifact spots. Pickaxe, probably good for something, maybe. Axe... I don't know if I need the pickaxe or the axe, to be honest with you. Farm warp totems? Probably not bad in a pinch, actually, yeah. Is it worth bringing the axe and the pickaxe? I guess the axe there's no harm in bringing because I can get rid of some debris. The pickaxe? We'll bring it all. We'll bring it all. Everything except the scythe. I can just bring the... I can bring my sword instead. Alright, warp totems... Um, 
melon, wheat, and garlic seed. I don't know if I'm going to grow them th while I'm there. That'll fill up my entire inventory. Spare chest. I can bring my... I don't have a spare chest to bring. All my chests are kind of doing things right now. I could bring a spare mini fridge. Something to cover the holes on the beach. Furniture catalog. Got a wheat seed, garlic seed, and melon seed here. Chest, maybe, for outside the volcano. I mean, chest, yeah, it would be nice to have a chest. How do we get chests without crafting? I'll have to make a command for that one <laughs> to explain that, because it's a common question. It's a, it's a little night market exploit. Bhutan bears. I'm just thinking, do I need the pickaxe for anything? I'm going to say I don't need the pickaxe for anything, chat. I think I'm going to leave my pickaxe behind. Clear up a little extra space. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring the seeds. And I got room for one more thing. I, I would like something to put over that, uh, to, like, get that one walnut with the dude that, like, burrows out of his home. Bombs? We have bombs. We got cherry bombs. Slingshot we don't need. We already got the, the one that we need the slingshot for. Copper pan? Ooh, copper pan could be actually kind of clutch. I can always bring that on my head. Where did I put the copper pan is the real question. Copper pan. Do that. All right. And you know what? Frick it. We're bringing the catalog. Bhutan bear. Look, I need you to protect this spot with everything you got, okay, buddy? Bhutan bear. Alright, furniture catalog coming with. Let's go. This is my Ginger Island setup. We can always come back if we need to. I just like to minimize the number of trips, trips if possible. Why are we going to Ginger Island? Banana saplings, baby. Banana saplings are the most profitable fruit trees that we can get. It's going to take a little bit of effort to get them, but... I'm willing to put some put in smell low grease for it. We have the uh, desert obelisk, not the island obelisk. I wish we had the island obelisk. That would make things quite a bit more convenient here. All right, Willie, take me away, buddy. Buy a ticket for 1,000 G. I don't know why. I still don't get why he charges me. Like, I am I literally fixed up the entire boat for him. I guess he fixed the boat, him and Robin, but, like, I'm the one who funded it, basically. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Fibrous farm could never. Oh, we have a chest here. What the heck? Chet, who, whose idea was it to bring a chest here? I forgot about this. Okay. That's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and drop this all off. Um, Life Elixirs. Furniture catalog, please. Just stick that right here. Yeah, we got, like, some stuff. We actually have some triple shot, and the master slingshot is still here, so even if I want, even if I hadn't brought that. All right. Why don't we plant starfruit on Ginger Island? Because we can't harvest it ourselves. We aren't able to... It would, we would. Well, we could harvest it ourselves, but we get farming XP for it, and we're not allowed to level up in farming. We'll deal with all that at a different time. I gotta wrap up the stream pretty soon here anyway. Um, but before we do... It's a knockout 
Let's knock out some stuff. This dude, look at him taunting me. Chat, what are, what should I use to destroy that guy's life? We can. That's what we brought our furniture catalog for mainly, was specifically for him. What should I put on his face to like stop him from coming out? Get my daily roughage, exactly. Tree columns, you know what? Tree columns, I'm kind of with you. We need three tree columns, I believe. Repurposing tree columns for their destined purpose. Gold columns, just smack a whole gold column on top of it. Complete overkill. Alright, boom. Get plugged, get plugged. Get plugged. Got nowhere to go, pal. You got nowhere to go, chump. Get out of here. Futon bears. That could have been fun, too. I feel like he could just move the futon bears out of the way, though. They're pretty lightweight, I would imagine. Got him. All right. I know what I must do to end off and, you know, f officially christen our next little while on Ginger Island. Let's just rip off the band-aid here. Hold on a minute. Pause me. Pause my music, because I'm not going to- I don't want to do this with music on. Chat, alright. First, tr first try. First try. Do you believe, chat? Do you believe in the first try miracle? where it gets hard. No! I wasn't sure if it was three on the green or two! Ah! Alright, second, second try lucky, second try lucky. It's never going to take more than two tries. We got this, we got this. More of those, please. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay. <laughs> that last one, I was still a little not sure about that one. I was a little gun shy on that last one there, but it's I just had to trust in my brain to, to absorb all that like a sponge. All right. Two tries. That's not bad. That's not bad. To be honest, I thought you got more than three gold walnuts out of that. I was hoping for like 10, <laughs> but I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. First try, if you don't count our first try. That was our practice run, so it really... It, it basically was our first try. Alright. Nice, warm Ginger Island home. I'm gonna go ahead and lock that one in. Surprisingly easy pattern. Chaotica, why do you have to... <laughs> take the wind out of my sails like that? It, it was a pretty easy pattern, I'm not gonna lie, though. Either way... Thank you all for being here for this leg of the uh, of the randomizer. I greatly appreciate it. It was fun. We made a lot of progress. I think we're well on our way to a gold clock. Where we we are three hundred thousand dollars down from when we first got our gold clock goal. I'll give you that much. That's not great, but no one can say that we're not in a good spot to do it. I think I think we've set our farm up very well. I think by working together, I think we've established a great baseline to eventually get our golden clock from. All that's left to do now is uh, 
Well, I mean, we have a few things left to do, but mainly the thing that's left to do now is kind of just coast it into the gold clock finish line, <laughs> which is still pretty distant for right now, but we'll get there together. However, I will digress. Been, do been doing a lot of digression lately, as you are wont to do. And I'm going to go ahead and end off the stream right there. Thank you all for joining me. Be good to one another. Be good to yourselves. I will send you off with the usual fan art compilation. And uh, until next time, next time, which will be Thursday, we're going to go back to Fiber's Farm for a little bit just to chill out. Not have to worry about any inventory concerns, Not no golden clock concerns, nothing. Just a chill time on Fiber's Farm. Hope to see you there. But until then, this is Argon Matrix signing on out. Thank you and have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye.